one and only correct sister in law. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Biko, mm -hmm. please don't forget to bring Okwa when next you're coming. Yes. Ah, this is not only going to be Okwa. Mbana. I will bring more and more. Mm -hmm. Vegetable, mm. ogili. <laughs> Everything <laughs> by the grace of God when I'm coming back. <laughs> okay, thank you, Nafa. But I'm going late for work. Let me go and drop you at the park. Jello. The one If we should be living in peace, so oh, oh, we'll talk about that if Biko, no more quarrels. Your sisters by marriage. Yes. No, we will right? live in peace. Let's go. Wait. Wait. <laughs> seized my car keys this morning because I dropped 15,000 naira for her for her salon. And she said I must complete the money 20,000 naira. And it was just last week here I gave her the same 20,000 naira for her salon. Oh yes, I can remember you drove her to the salon last week where you really had issues because she wanted you to wait until she finishes so that you can drop her at home. But wait, does it mean that uh, she's going to the salon every week? That is what is happening now. Even my mother came to talk to her. And Ella had the effrontery to walk out on my mother. No, this is bad. Why would she do such a thing? But uh, anyway, uh, just calm down, okay? Um, I will come to your house after work today, and so I can speak with her. Okay? I I am not even interested because my mother has threatened to leave the house even without completing her treatment. And if my mother leaves the house that way, Ella also must leave that house. Uh, uh, Prescott. It hasn't come to that extent. Please just calm down. Yeah? Just calm down. I will come and talk to her like I promised you. I will talk to her and I promise you things will change. This evening it will be sorted out. Yeah? Just look at you. Two wives, four kids. Yet you have a lovely home. It's just me, my son and Ella. And it's trouble every day. I have to put an end to this nonsense. She can even live with my son when I'm ready. I will go take him. Prescott, I beg of you. I promise you that things will be sorted out. You have to calm down. It is true that there are some women who can kill a man before his time with their problems. But your case will not be like that. Don't worry. After I come to see her today, things will change. Come and see some sense into me. Okay. Yes, I'm hearing you. I don't want it to look as if I am against your decision in paying our children's school fees. 
just that I am thinking of what will happen next after paying their school fees with the money you have. Whatever will happen, let it happen. I cannot withstand the shame of, of, of being at home and watch my children not going to school when other, 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 other uh, mates, mates of, of their age are, are going to school. Have you ever thought of what people will say or think about me? A first class graduate and his children are always staying indoors from day in, day out. No, I can't withstand the shame. Okay, I understand you. But I also want you to know that no time is too late for anyone to be in school. You know you've lost your job. And we know that it's not the end of a joyful life for us. But then, if you ask me, I will say, let us use this money to start up a canteen business so that with time we can pay other bills like house rent, pay the children's school fees and feed. All right. How are we sure that this food uh, vendor business will yield to something reasonable? My husband, if you use this money now in paying their school fees, how will you pay their next school fees? How are we going to feed? Be our house friends and all that. I know that it's not easy and, and I believe God will see us through. Well, um, I, I, I will give you the money, but uh, I don't want my children to be involved in this business they are talking about. I want them to stay indoors and study their books. Um, with time, I know I will find out the money and then they will return back to school. That I, I assure you. Okay. How do you expect me to do this business alone without involving the children? Or do you want me to employ workers when we have grown-up children who can help me run the business? You see what I, I keep saying? You see it? I told you that if you must start this business, don't get my children involved in it. Now, take this money. I, I, I'll, 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 I'll find a way of uh, getting another money for uh, upkeep, upkeep and then for the children's school fees. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Please, I don't want you to misunderstand me. It's okay. It's okay. Hey. So, mommy, how did you go today now? Hmm. My son, thank God for me. I sold everything I could. Really? <laughs> See, brother, the next time I've seen how people were coming in and out, mm -hmm. like we've been cooking for ages. I knew it. Mm -hmm. I, knew, mm -hmm. I knew this business would fly. Mm -hmm. You know the most fly? They even said that our food is very, very delicious. Ah, my <laughs> Now you're proving to them that this business can stand. Mm -hmm. hey, this business has come to stay. Welcome, Daddy. Okay. Welcome. Welcome. I want to get something clear. Which food did they tell Melissa that uh, it was delicious? I hope you didn't go with her to the shop. Okay. You know what? I sold everything I cooked today. And I think we should be thanking God and asking for more customers to come. Yes, <laughs> yes, I know. I, I'm also happy that everything you went out with, you, you sold them. Yes. I thank God for that too. I asked still, did you take these children out there to the streets to sell food with you? Um, okay. Sonia came to him. Only Sonia did what? Have I not warned you against this? Now you have succeeded in exposing me. Nothing. First class graduate could not pay his children's coffees. That is what you have made as a publicity to the whole world. Thank you very much. You have told the whole world that I could not pay my children's coffees. I appreciate you. 
Daddy, this is not about what people will say. Of course, we can't let mommy go out there and sell food all alone. Mm -hmm. Especially after the stress of making the food. We should be useful to her now. She's our mother. Dad, aside that, I think at this point in time, it's nobody's business whether we go to school or not. At all. I mean, the truth is, we need money. That we need money to put in together. That I think you should be coming into this business so that we'll stand this business as one big family. You can. Honestly, the way you are going about this whole thing will not help us. Listen, let me tell you something. I warn thee against this. I said I don't want my children involved in this food vendor business. Have I not warned you about it? I can't imagine my own children moving from one corner to another in the name of seven food for customers. And the, 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 the customers will in turn staring at their, their buttocks and their boobs. I don't want it. I don't want it a bit. Dad, we are not that little children, no. Yes, we are not. Of course, we, we all understand the present condition that, that, that we are passing through now. So we should be useful. Eh? We happen is not a bad idea. You are sounding as if you are doing something bad. It, it's not like that. We have to help her. She's our mom. <laughs> Dad, I need you to calm down. Please. Trust me, I know exactly what you're trying to do. Yes, you are trying to protect us. You don't want us to be exposed to the outer world. Negatively, yes, I know that, and still you are protecting your reputation. But Dad, come on, this is the time we need you the most. I mean, you should be supporting mommy in this. You know, Dad, you're a first class graduate. Why don't you bring in this intelligence into this business? Craft something good, make a big soundboard, let people know that yes, we can cook, we can sell out some things to make money instead of trusting mommy's effort. None of that. Now, listen. My word is final. Are you hearing me? I do not want to see any of you step out here again in the name of you are going out to the street to sell food with the mother. Are you hearing me? I have told you very clearly that in no distance than you expected, I will take you back to school and pay your school fees. I do not want to hear that rubbish thing from your mouth again. That's what I want to do. You need my economic strategy. I am strategizing. You will, you will do something very soon. Very soon. Yesterday, very soon. Today, very soon. Tomorrow, very soon. Do it soon now. Mommy, talk to him. We cannot leave you to go there and I'm struggling all alone. Mommy, why is that so difficult? I don't know. I mean, this is the time we need him the most. Rather, he wants to thwart your effort. And look, mom, I've always counted on you. I know what you can do. Go in there now. Try and sneak him into the bedroom. You know how to fine tune his brain. Make him understand that we need him in this business. In fact, he should come in as the cashier. Which cashier? Of our, our food selling business. Now. Don't let your father hear this. Let me go inside. Let me go inside. Let me go inside. Are you still outside by this time of the day? Tell me, talk to me. What is it? I, I don't know. It, it seems as if God has abandoned me. God forbid. How can you say a thing like that? Are you the only man who has lost his job? Oh. Daddy. God cannot abandon us. These are trying times. And we will scare through. Please. Okay. You should stop thinking too much because of your health. You should even be grateful to God because I have something doing that keeps the family going. You should be thanking God for that. Yes. So, 
That's it. So you're using that as a scapegoat? You're not adhering to my instructions? That's it. All my instructions, you fit as it away. Oh, that's what you do. Instruction how? Yeah, because I asked that my children should not be exposed to the war. But you are doing that. So how do you want my peace of mind? Okay. It is okay. Let's go inside first. It is okay. Okay. You are children all the time. I don't understand this. Planning on going on a holiday in the UK. You heard it's just your two words. Of course, we just want to go and catch some groove. I mean, take a little rest. Really, Dad? Yes. And you think the groove. Your children are not worthy to come with you. <laughs> you already have your plans, I'm sure. Yeah, we kind of. Why are you trying to change everything? We already agreed all this with that before. Why are you trying to change? But please, let's go back to the original plan, guys. See, UK is mm -hmm. but it's cool. We have been there before just that we didn't have much fun. I agree. And I also know that going with dad will make it more fun and interesting. Oh, no. You know what? I changed my mind. <laughs> you also want to change your mind. Anyway, dad is going with his wife to the UK alone. Just three of us, and then uh, mm. children will go to Canada. When we finish from UK, we'll join the children in Canada mm. at least before the holiday ends. Mm. That's <laughs> Daddy is going to be looking at his two wives and his baby. Uh. Oh, <laughs> baby. Well, that's what it is. So, can we go back to our son? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, that's my sweet daddy. Okay. We are uh, to sing this with him. Do your thing. Yeah. Okay. We are joined. We are joined. We are So soon. Yes, I am back so soon. You didn't know I will come back so soon. And is that an answer to my question? I said, where are you going to? Daddy, we are going to see... Uh... We are going to see Priska at her place. To do what? Uh, and from there, we will go and help mommy to buy things in the market. You want to go and see Priska under this house, sir? Are you mad? Daddy, Daddy sir, does stop? Mm. And then where is your brother? He went out with his friends in search of job. What? Uche left this house in search of job. Yes. What will an undergraduate be doing outside looking for a job if not to get many jobs? What's the meaning of that? See, Dad, let me tell you, eh, that was in the past. In this present Nigeria, eh, people that not go to school, they are richer. Yes. You uh -huh. see, people that not even pass their exam, eh, they are dominating the ruling class in Nigeria now. And you know what? It's just all about the connections one gets. One's connections. It's just that's, all about connections. It. It's not this one, you You see, my daughters. You see, education is very important. I know you will not understand what I'm saying now until you, you grow up upstairs. You see, I don't want to do something I will end up regretting. You, Sonia, you used to help me and educate your, your, your siblings. What, what's wrong all of a sudden? You two is following you. They want to go outside to look for a job. You follow them. I want to see Priska. From there, you go to mommy's house, for shops. From there, you go to another Priska's friend's house. What's, what's the meaning of that? 
Oh yeah, go inside. No, there's nothing to regret. You know, go inside, you know, because everything is dead to regret. I'm talking to you, you're telling me you don't need to work. Go, 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 I have already. Um, Sonia, what happened today? You people did not come to help me out. Mom, was it not Daddy? Daddy came in when we were about to leave the house. And he seriously warned us not to leave the house. In fact, I have to sneak out because he is sleeping. Wait, so your father did not go out to look for what to do today. Can, can Daddy do any other work that is not office work? It's obvious he can't, mommy. Or you want him to go there and start speaking grammar for them? Start quoting philosophies and, 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 and all the rest? He thought everything is all about skill. Your father has to adjust though. Especially now the country is like this. I don't even know how to make him understand that everything is not about school these days. Mm. Mommy, you really have to talk to him more. We are the ones who are supposed to be ashamed that we are not going to school and not him. Don't worry, your uh -uh. father will adjust. I know him very well. The post you are talking about is beyond us. It is something that has to do with the gods. Talking about decisions, it must come from the directives of the gods, not you and I. For I know about that. All I'm saying is that I need that title. Because I see the Jofo title as a very significant title in this land. Of course, Sam. It is a very significant position in our land. And it should be held by the royal household. Not with this submission of names. My so that there is no need for that. My son. Ways of the gods are different from ways of men. Father. I see who holds that title as a big threat to the royal household. Father, this title should be held by you or me. I am the crown prince of Iloma kingdom. The heir apparent to the throne. Not with us contesting with the mere commoners. Father, see reasons with me. Come to think of it, Father. Don't you think whoever holds that title stands to challenge your power and authority in this throne? Have you forgotten what happened between you and Mazen Bamalo? Oh, Father, please. My son, listen to this. Go and have rest. It is said that a hen that runs after a kite has a limited space to cover. I want you to have it at the back of your mind that there is nothing, absolutely nothing, you and I can do about this. But you are the king. Whatever you said stands. You can go into it. Yes. Oh, my God. My wife, thank you very much for the delicious meal. You're welcome. Uh, thank you so much. I'm happy to be home again. <laughs> the road is really very far. <laughs> Coupled with our bad roads. Ah, my dear, you don't need to waste your time dodging portals on Nigerian roads again. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> we just select the ones to enter and afterwards take the car to the mechanic. Ah, every weekend. Ah, every weekend. Oh. We don't even have an option. We don't. Since our leaders are not committed in making things work in this country. Ah, Mazel for you're welcome. Thank you very much. No. How are the people at home? <laughs> Oh, they are fine, they are fine. And to those of them who knew I was coming, they sent their greetings. We'll receive it. <laughs> I 
I heard the Igwe is planning for Zidji of a title. That's a big chieftaincy title. Yes. Oh, yes, yes. And that is why we are collecting names of our people that merit the title. Names? Oh, yes. What are you collecting names for? Igwe can just pick two people in his cabinet and then give them the chieftaincy title. Exactly. Instead of uh, calling people who don't, who we don't know and people who cannot vouch for. Anyway, it was the decision of his cabinet members. And as I speak with you, your name is among them. That you cannot be serious. How can my name be there? What do I know about tradition? I'm not interested in all those things now. You will know gradually when you are in there. Uh, please. Seriously, your name is everyone's choice. So they are seeing it as number one choice. Oh, I am not interested in any traditional title. Huh? I'm not interested. Please, they should leave me out of it. By the way, let us please change this topic before it turns to something else. Uh -huh. You said you came to buy some goods. Uh, yes, you see, the farm work can no longer sustain my family. And since I learned how to make shoes and bags, I have just decided to add it up so that we see how it goes. Ah, that's... Sorry, um, excuse us. That's why I like uh, people like people who are hard working. Who are not waiting for people to come and give them their work. That's, 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 that's what I do. Right. Yeah. Very soon you will become like all those uh, witchy <laughs> <laughs> You cheer for? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I do sit. Good evening, sir. Good evening, how are you? Fine, thank you. Welcome. Thank you very much, my daughter. Uh, you told me you'll be leaving tomorrow morning. Oh, yes. I have some work in the farm waiting for me. You know, farmers don't joke with their farms. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, sir. Okay, welcome. I talk to you. I hope you were able to get enough things from the market from the little money that I gave to you. <laughs> you call half a million small money? Uh, <laughs> I don't intend to even use all the money for that business. Mm. Yes, I have decided to start it small. So that as it grows, I can begin to put in more money. Mm. Though I was able to use to buy a lot of things with that money. So yeah, that, that's a good idea. The business is progressive. <laughs> but anyway, um, it's your fault. This money is for my brother's children's school fees. Oh, oh, yes, okay. I wanted to send it to someone else. But since you're here and you're doing it tomorrow, <laughs> why not? <laughs> no, they will get it. Definitely, they will get it. Justin, thank you very much. I appreciate all you've been doing for us. Yeah. God will continue to bless you and your family. Amen. Oh, <laughs> and bless all of us. Oh, and give us a way forward. Amen. And put smiles on our face. <laughs> and put joy in our hearts. That's it. Thank you very okay. much. Yes. That's what we come to. It's okay. All right. Thank you very much. Ah, I think I. Let me go to bed. <laughs> To carry the food to the shop. Shut up! I saw you selling food to someone just now. Sonia, what? Why are you not ashamed of yourself? You are a third year chemistry student, and I look at you selling food in a cat. It's not nothing. It's, it's a stupid act of hawking on the street. Now there's nothing wrong in what at you are doing. At the count of three, 
I want you people to get back home. No, Daddy, I don't like this thing you're doing. No. Is there anything wrong with me? Nothing is wrong. Are to I said, shut up! Are you the first people that your parents have not paid their school fees? You want to expose me before the whole world that I have not paid your school fees? That is. Daddy, but not expose me. I was. Daddy, Daddy, what is this? I said, back to the house. This way. This way. Oh, oh, this way. This way. This way. This way. This way. have chosen to do only what your mother says in this house. You no longer adhere to my instructions. I am a man of this house, not your mother. This is highly obvious. What nonsense is this? I am asking you, am I the man of the house or your mother? Why don't you obey me? What nonsense is this? You don't adhere to my instructions. Or do your mother speak before you do a thing? Am I not the man of the house? I'm asking you. Am I not the man? So no one wants to say anything. I see. I've seen the picture clearly. Whatever my your mother says is what you do. <laughs> okay. That's good. Okay. Enough of this. We had agreement before you started this food vendor business that you should not expose my children to the streets, to this wicked generation. And now what are you doing? You are going contrary. Daddy, can you bring down your voice? Huh? I don't see any sense in you asking mommy to go get a sales help when she has grown-up children like us. I mean, what's the... That we can be of help to mommy now. If your mother does not have any way of doing this business without involving your people, then she will better stay at home. Let her remain a housewife. After all, she has been a housewife and does, I, I, I'm not up and doing. Who said it? It has been a crime. All the years that she has been indoors. Daddy, no woman deserves to be a housewife. Whether her husband is rich or poor. I, I, I don't think he is, is in this place. Will I just shut up? Have you seen it? You've successfully turned my children to little rascals. Right on. I am just coming back from the show. And I need to rest. Has it got into the extent that you no longer have pity on me after the stress of the day business? Okay. I still believe I am living with that lovely and caring man that I got married. Igwe, oh no. Um, I present the list of these names to you from where your cabinet is. What, what, that's all right. I will take my time to go through the list once again and I will pass it to the chief priest who actually is in the position to decide on behalf of the gods who and who are eligible to receive this title. <clears throat> um, Igwe, you've spoken well. These men in question, are they aware of the title requirements and its importance to us in Iloma community? The answer to that your question cannot be no answer. These men are elders of this community and must have known the importance of the title. You have spoken like an elder you are. I thank you. Thank you very much. But remember how taskful this title is. I suggest the Igwe makes a call to those elders who have been chosen. Immediately, once the chief priest has confirmed it. 
so that we can find out from them two things. One, are they willing to accept the offer? Two, how prepared are they for it? Yes, that is That is very important. Because the title is a matter of choice. Whoever is chosen is free to either accept or decline. Especially for those of them in the city. Have I spoken your mind to you? Uh, yes. You spoke well, my elders. I will send a message across to every one of them. At least let me hear from them to know how willing and prepared they are. Igwe, may you live long. I suggest that we, the cabinet members, should come together and pick out only two from amongst those that the chief priest will declare qualified. And those two we can invite just to save your stress. Igwe, I suggest the chief priest chooses someone that will hold the offer once and for all. Eh? Instead of going through this long process, the gods are wiser. And they know better than all of us here. Mm -hmm. um, yes, better let the gods make the choice. Okay. It's alright, my Elders. Thank you so much. You've spoken well. I promise you, I will hand this paper over to the chief priest. Definitely, the gods will come out with a guy who then will be Prescott, you didn't even play like your usual self today. What happened? That's unlike you. I'm giving you 4 1, and you can't even respond to any. <laughs> oh. Justin, indeed, you are a very strong man, I must confess. Really? It is not, mar it's not easy getting married to, to women as wives. I mean, satisfying them, including the activities in the other room. <laughs> I am regretting getting married to that woman. I wouldn't want you to say that, but remember I told you that earlier on. That you don't marry a woman because she's pregnant for you. You marry your friend. But I believe that Ella will come around. She will still make a good wife. Just give her time. Especially now that uh, your people and her people have given her the last one. She will behave herself. Justin, I don't love her anymore. In fact, the love I have for her is fading away. I wouldn't mind getting married to another woman as wife. Ah, that's the one I will not support at all. Getting another wife for what now? Ella will change. She will improve. And then uh, you will enjoy your marriage. All you need to do is allow her, give her time. And then she will, uh, you will start enjoying it. Look at this man though. You want to marry a second wife just like me? <laughs> I wouldn't mind to make it a dozen if that's will make me to be happy just like you. Look at your children. Look at how happy they are. Look at the love and respect they have for each other. Who will ever think they are not all from the same? Do they have a choice? No. They just had to do that. But you know, in the beginning, it wasn't as easy as we are saying it now. Thanks to my sister Uju, she played a big role in achieving this for my family. At least your wives can listen to her. But Ella's case is different. She wouldn't listen to anyone. Oh. Prescott, can we just forget about Ella's case now? We've had a good day playing sport. Why don't we just go for a drink? Just yes. this morning, a drink? Listen, anything to make me happy. Anytime, any day, anywhere. Can we jog away? Thank you. <laughs> Let's go. Come on.
Is it getting better? Yes. Are you sure? Is there any improvement? Oh, he'll be fine. Once I go to the shop, I'll get some medications to add to the one I gave to him yesterday. Uh, uh, yeah. Has he been taking the medicine I gave to him yesterday? Yes, he has been taking it. Only remaining the one he's going to take this evening. Okay, he will take it. I will bring more drugs to add to that one. Okay. But the problem is that his BP is increasing, and I don't know why. That is what I'm saying. My daddy has been taking since he lost his job. And he's not the only man who has lost his job. Uh, I, I don't know what else to say. Daddy, you're hearing it now. Help yourself now. Brother, why are you doing this to yourself? What are you thinking? I don't know. Eh? Your wife is now doing very well in her food business, which I know has been sustaining the family. Yes. So what is the problem? I don't think you need to add some more drugs that will reduce BP. So at least you can get better and stronger. Yeah, if, if my mom sees him like this, there will be no peace. No, no, no. I'll do just that once I get Come on, what is it? What happened? Mommy, his body is getting hot. Are you serious? It was already better in the morning when I left this house. Yes. You know, Sinkechi said the BP has increased now. He keeps thinking up and down as if he's... I don't even know what to say. Please, help me and heal my husband. Nos, you see what I told you? Your brother wants to kill himself and I don't know why. Yeah, you soon have me. Meanwhile, you should let me get to you. Okay, thank you very much. Yes. Tea. Okay, tell me which one now. Just tea. Can I go and get it? We're almost running. Did you put the key in my Go now, we lock it. Put it. So, what do you mean we go now? You, you, you lock it. Are you not going to the shop with us? Um, Daddy, you see, everyone must not be at the shop in, at the same time. One has to be doing other things now. It's called division of labor. Well, uh, it doesn't matter, eh? Um, as long as something good is coming out of it, it can turn to family business. Eh? In fact, I, I'm even dreaming of uh, looking for a bigger shop and then we turn it to a big restaurant. We employ people that will work for us. Okay. That's my, the same dream I want you to share with me. Okay. Okay, have you forgotten that these children need to go to school? I haven't forgotten. But I also want you people to know that we are tenants here. And our, our rents will soon expire. Eh? There are a lot of things we need to do with money. Eh? School is still there, it will not run away. If I let us go, our customers are waiting in the shop. Eh? Just like that. Customer, hurry up. Mommy. Uh, mommy, you need to be very careful before this your husband will turn you to a sales girl in that shop. Yeah. 
and because I cannot understand him again at all. I mean, the worst mistake you made was to bring him into this, uh, uh, this your business. My son, even me, I don't understand him anymore. You know what? Let's go to the shop. In the evening, we'll come back, we'll sort out things, okay? Let's go. Because, Mumi, I plan on sending Gala today now. Yeah. So, so, somebody that wants to count Gala for me is, is already waiting for me. Don't worry about the Gala. Let's go to the shop. I know what you want. Come. Let's go. I'll give you some money to take care of you. Shop agent called. Can we go and see him? Um, yes, very important. But you see, uh, we need now that the business is uh, flourishing, we need uh, uh, a bigger shop in a good location. Hmm? That's what I'm saying, too. The bigger the shop, uh -huh. the more money comes. Oh, oh, oh. Then um, you remember, we need to renew our rent. I know, yeah. but the shop is where we we'll make money and then uh, we we'll have customers be comfortable, you know, to eat and then <laughs> and the money will come, you know. For sure, money will come. <laughs> Sonny, yes, what were you discussing with that boy? Mommy, which? Okay, you mean Chi boy. Whatever he calls himself, what were you people talking about? Daddy, he asked me to marry him, but I told him no. That I'm not ready to marry now. Oh, hey. I love that. Just stand on, on, on that. I like it. Okay, what are you saying? Has she not reached the age of marriage? After all, how old was I when you married me? I was very rich and well educated. The whole world is aware of that. So what are you saying? What I'm saying is that men that are well to do will come for my daughter's hands in marriage and not just to any man who calls himself a, a, a man. It must be all up and doing. My goodness. Darling, you are changing from the man I married. Who knows? Maybe our present condition is affecting you. But, Mom, I also don't want to marry Chibo. Yes. It's not because he is not wealthy enough. But, Daddy, he's doing good in his business. I, I, I know, but you also refused him, isn't it? Yes. Mm, that's what I want. Hmm? Ocham, over there you go. <laughs> Would you like to go to London? See, my dream for you is that a man that will come for you and ask your hands in marriage must be very rich so that you, you can do just anything you want. Would you like to go to England or to Oxford? Daddy, <laughs> I want to go to Abu but not everything money, money. Uh, and she will go. Money. She will money. go to England. She will go to abroad. <laughs> London, anywhere. But the way you are talking about money, this money here, money there. I don't like it. Okay. To be educated is fine, but money is also good. Girl, Maka, money is good, I know. Please, let's go and see the agents. Uh, we have no other choice. The gods have chosen the right person that will hold the title. But what marvels me most is that why did God chose a man who is far from our tradition and also far from the village? This title is not just any title that any man can hold. Um, you are not far from the truth, Offer. I'm still not comfortable with the choice of the gods. <clears throat> My fellow elders, I am happy with the choice. And I think you all, the committee members, should be happy also with the choice of the person 
who is going to handle the title. Of course, even the children, the youths, the women of this community are very happy. <laughs> uh, Igwe, I suggest we begin with the process immediately. Yes, you are right. Remember, it is the one with your four that decides what Iloma community will be. With or without the Igwe. That's why it is good for us to give it to the one that is close to the community. Yes. Yes. Let's leave it to the hands of the gods. The gods have chosen him. All we need to do is stand behind him. There must be some other ways we can handle our fears. Oh. Alpha? Listen. Whoever that has the mind to give fire to a child for a hold should equally have the mind to teach that child how best to handle the fire, to prevent him or her from being burned by the same fire. It is not as if we don't understand your point. We do. But I want you to also understand and believe that the gods are wise at all times. Igwe, you have said it all. All for you should bear in mind that the gods are wise. You cannot dispute them. It is not as if I'm against it. I am only concerned about the difficulty in it. Knowing fully well who my brother is, he is more committed to his business. He might finally reject it if he finds a difficulty in it. Of course, there is a great difference between two frequencies, the only two frequencies. Mortal and immortal frequencies. Great difference between two of them. No mortal fires for the gods. We can't fight for the gods. Rather, the gods fight for us. You understand that? I want you to know that the best we can do for our own good is to do in accordance with the dictates of the gods and leave the rest for the gods to continue from where we stopped. Is that clear to you? I, I, I want to let you know this. I will summon the rest cabinet men for an emergency meeting here tomorrow so we can deliberate on how to get prepared for the dead. Meanwhile, you have to go to the chosen one, talk with him. Oh no, yes, I remember. Oh no, I assign you and the four to this because I want him present here before the next day came out there. Anyway, just as you said it, so shall I do it. It shall be where we do it. Wow! Can this be true? No, my brother too. I think something is wrong. Or oh, can peace be choking with this? God, though, at least our children can go back to school. To school? Mm -hmm. How can you say that when we don't have a, a, a house help? To, uh, we cannot cope. Huh. They, will, they will go back to school, but not now. Uh, at least we need something substantial at hand. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Mm -hmm. Let me check. Yes, 
Ma, go and get food for the parents. Okay, okay, ma. Like I said, they can go back to school. We have to see how we can cope. We need to get reliable people to be helping us out in the show while they go back to school. Well, I did not say they will not go back to school. What I said is that they will not go back to school now. It's not available. The money we have now is not available. Okay, ma. Huh? We will have uh, enough money to do that. Maybe it's already middle of the year. Daddy! Daddy, are you the one saying all this? Uh, um, Daddy, let me ask you a question. Do you think leaving this house every day just to ogle her, do you think it's easy? Hmm. Eh? I mean, considering the fact that we now have some money, we can go back to school now, eh? Running after moving vehicles just to sell one gala is quite tedious. How much more a whole pack of a gala? Uh, now I know why it is good also to, to have something doing, whether you are going to school or not. Hey. But Uche, you, you, you are a man. I, I want you to bear that in mind. It is your mates that are hawking gala uh, 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 at the street there with you. And they are not complaining as well. They just stop that word. Our destiny is different. Eh? Me, I did not come to this life to sell gala. Do, do, do you know how many years those people have been selling gala? Daddy, what are you trying to say? That we're not going back to school or what? I don't know. What I said is that uh, we need to expand our business. And from there, I will save small money. Uh -huh. Next year, everybody will fall back to school. Nkem. Nkem. Nkem, you were the one complaining that these children are being exposed. Now that things are getting better for us, is it not better we take them back to school? Remember what we discussed before I started this business. Um, this money is perfect. All the credit You have to be careful. We're going to know another national. Because, let me see. Hey! Is everyone seeing what I'm seeing here? Hey! Can you imagine? Nothing is not about of money. Daddy! I don't understand though. Mommy, you better go inside and talk to your husband. Uh, if it means you're taking him to the bedroom this afternoon, it's none of our business. Go in and talk some sense into him. Will you keep quiet? If you tell me to talk to your father, I will understand that. But telling me to go and talk to him in the bedroom. So you are finally visiting bedroom, okay? What kind of question is that? Is he not your husband? Bedroom that have a better you frequency. Shut up your mouth. But mommy, what all we are saying that you, you have to talk to him. You should talk to him. Bro. This, this attitude that I did, this that is not going. You had better do something very important because of him. What? Oh, listen, I've told you, I'm not interested in taking any traditional title. What's all this? Why me? Must it be me? There are many men in the Loma community who are interested in it. Give it to them. Why must it be me? That's what I'm saying. Why should I be the chosen one? You know I do not like all these traditional things at all. Nobody should drag me into it. That's what I'm saying. It's okay. Until I come then. Jay, so they are serious with this offer title or whatever? Yes, and I've told them that I'm not interested. Nobody should drag me to this. You leave me out of it completely. If they want me to sponsor anything during this ceremony, they should let me know I will do it. But not dragging me into one traditional title or another. Honey, please. Calm down. You know, being worked up is not good for your health. Please, just calm down. But honestly, I don't understand why they have to choose you for this title. I don't get it. For God's sake, we are not traditional people. Another Kanzu. Yes. Eh? Yes. You're not a traditional man. And your parents were not as well. Oh. Oh. To be sincere, I, I don't like it myself. Please. You just have to calm down. And these people should just leave you alone. They should let you be. Do you know I even heard that the gods speak to the person holding that offer light? Oh, can you imagine that? So I will leave my business and then come and be saying what the gods said and what the gods did not say. No, I'm, I'm not going there at all. Nobody should take me into it. Um, I don't know the reason for all this. But you just need to calm down, please. Just calm down. Okay? Honey, please. Calm down.
Please. Are you ready? Can we go now before they close? Oh, Prescott. Yes, I'm ready. We can go. We can actually leave. Justin, you're worried. Is everything okay? Or are you still thinking about the title they call you for in the village? What else? Well, we'll talk about it in the car. What title and why did they have to choose you? I'm also asking myself that question why they chose me. I've told them I don't want any of the titles. They should have chosen any of those men in the village. Who knows so much about it? That's exactly my suggestion to them. But my brother of course says that their so-called gods chose me. I told them I don't know anything about it and I don't want to have anything to do with those titles. They just leave me out of it. I would suggest you go to the village and make your opinion known to the Igbo himself. That's, well, that's exactly my plan. Oh. Justin, what's your problem? Do you know any of those girls? Uh, no, can't you see that they are beautiful? Yeah, <laughs> they are beautiful indeed. I, I think they are helping their mother to sell food near the mecca next week. Yes, sell food? Don't they go to school? Justin, I don't know much about them, but I don't know you to be a womanizer, even if you had wanted to do anything, certainly not with these low-class girls. Oh. Come on, Justin, let's move on. Oh, what are you talking about, low-class girls? Listen, when it concerns love and somebody you like, you don't talk about class. Money can actually change anybody. It can change their class. I just want to know them. They're beautiful. This <laughs> their shapes when I was looking. Mom, this set of rice you bought this time around the chaff is too much. Don't mind me, my dear. Look at. I don't even know how we are picking this Oh, oh. In that case, I was trying to save money, so <laughs> now I'm holding this one. Oh, okay. So you will concentrate on the picking so you don't add stones to me. From the landlord's reaction yesterday, he's so bitter. I mean, he said this would be his last warning. Considering the fact that we've started a business that is booming well, he see no reason we should be owing him the rent. Is he going banning us? That he went to the point of almost locking us outside. No, is he going gaga? Why must he say that? That we are doing business that is booming, then what about it? Okay. We also have too much thing to serve with money. He should give us a little time. Okay, when you owe huh? somebody, you bring your voice down. Okay, there's no problem. I will use the money that I'm saving for school fees for rent. That's all. Dad, I will suggest you pay him half of the rent. Yes, Daddy, you have to pay him half. No problem. No more school. The money that I have saved for school fees will go for rent. That's no problem. Okay. How do you mean no more school? Dad, with due respect, there's no sense in what you just said now. I mean, you should be considerate. Daddy, have we said anything wrong that you are reacting this way now? Um, Sonia. Mommy. Melissa. Huh? Uchi. People should go inside. Bring that one. You have to let that rise. All right, Mommy. Okay. What is the problem? What has come over you? Why have you chosen to frustrate our children? I, I'm not frustrating them, Mamuchenda. You should know that. You need to educate these children. 
If you get money and you use it recklessly, of course you will end up achieving nothing. And as we guys, you build money. In economics, it is called building, micro building. Therefore, it is what we call scale of preference. You have to make preferences to what you need most. That is what I'm doing. Wait. Nkem, did you just call me Mama Uche? So because of money, you have suddenly forgotten the sweet names we do call ourselves, right? It is not because of money. Money is not what you refer to as just. Of course, if you look way back a few months ago, we were here, we, you know, gnashing our feet. We don't have no money. We don't have food on our table. And now God has started blessing us. We must be careful how to spend. And that's what I want you to know. I work in your spirit, woman. Up, up, I said. Is your spirit awake? Yes. Your yes. spirit is awake and you yes, me, Yes, in economic paraphernalia. The question is, why me? I don't know anything about all these gods, traditional practices and all that. Besides, I have businesses to attend to. I cannot leave my family and business and come and be staying here in the village all the time. It is not like that. Oh, okay. Do as you think. Well... Of all cancer. Here we go. I'm just coming from your house. There was nobody there. My late brother saw is leaving for the city. So I decided to have a one-on-one -on -one talk with him. That's why I'm here. Hi. I don't know how we are going to handle this. Let's go talk to him. For real. Greetings, Uno. Greetings, my brother. Your uncle told me you are going back to the city. Oh, yes. I have a lot of businesses to attend to. So as you can see, I'm a very busy person. And I cannot handle the kind of function that that title requires. I understand you very well, my brother. But avoid this thing bringing misunderstanding between you and us. And let's leave everything to the gods. Well, I think that is better. That is what I told him. I will go and consult the chief priest again, as the Igwe said. Because he said the gods need to look at it again and see whether there can be a change. I pray the God chose another person. Because as it stands now, he's not ready to change his mind at all. Even his wife's called me concerning this matter. Hmm. It's not funny at all. No problem. Everything is in the hands of the gods. ever since you got back. Everyone is worried, including your sister. Uh, <clears throat> please tell me, what is going on? Uh, nothing, like I said. I'm sorry if I've got everybody worried. But uh, like I said, I was just resting. Uh, I should come to bed. I'll talk to them tomorrow, okay? Do you really want to sleep? Uh, yeah. Okay.
Sir, your breakfast is already on the dining table. Oh, I forgot. Um, okay, just leave it there. I won't be long, I'll soon be back. Okay? Okay, sir. Um, in fact, cover it up. Okay, sir. Justin! What is going on? How is it Am I complaining? My love, why the change in attitude? Eh? You're even leaving the house without taking breakfast. And you didn't even come around to see us this morning before leaving. Not even a good morning. The way you even left the house baffled me. I'm not behaving like the just telling me for Lala. No. Hey, what is it? What happened? You're not leaving this house. Yes. Until yes, you tell us what yes. is going on. Hey, well. Uh -huh. well. It's okay. Let's go inside. Never mind, so can Follow my follow. Hey. Yes. I couldn't sleep all night. I was seeing their faces in my mental vision. What do you want? Do you need the two of them or I mean, are you No Prescott, just one of them. Precisely, the small one. I think I'm falling in love with her. Justin, are you okay? You need to go for medical checkups. It is true you have flair for young girls. That was when you were much younger and not this age. And besides, you have two beautiful women as wives. What is it that you see, that you are still looking for? I don't know what you mean. Is it that I cannot fall in love again? I love the girl. I love her. I mean, she should be about 18 or thereabout. She's a woman. Justin, please. Just, just, just stop it if this is a joke. Stop it. This is not a joke. I want to marry that girl. I love her. I've fallen heads over heels with her. She has taken my mind. In fact, the very first time I set my eyes on her. Can't you see? Can't you see that I can't even get over her? Justin, please. I can never be a party to this. Please, just cut me out. Well, Prescott, let me surprise you. I'm not looking for anybody to be a party to anything. I can marry the girl all by myself. All I'm just informing you is I don't want it to come as a surprise to you because you're my friend. That's all. Justin, I'm serious. You have two beautiful wives and four kids. What else are you still looking for? What is your problem? Can you just tell me the reason you made this decision? I am not looking for anything. I just want to marry the beautiful girl. She has taken my mind. I have fallen in love with her. That's all. I thought you should know her as my friend. That's why I called you here. But if you're not satisfied with it, then you may leave. Alpha, tell us. Are you saying that Justin has finally made up his mind not to accept the position? He would. Does he have a choice? Of course he doesn't. <laughs> he doesn't. Justin has to take up the title. Because it is the decision of the gods. He has no option at all. Because the gods have chosen him. He can't go back. He must abide by it. <laughs> My fear. My only fear is that Justin is not very familiar with our customs and traditions. He left this village to the city when he was just a boy. And as our people say, Anahamwa Kebenanka, a right handed man cannot turn left handed at old age, or vice versa. Exactly. <laughs> it's going to be somehow difficult. Or four, talk to him. He's the God's choice. We cannot change that. No. I will talk to him. Because 
I believe the God who chose him was given the capacity to handle that position. Exactly. That is our belief. Yeah, and now, next to, let us go to the next slide. What else do we have to discuss? Son, what is the problem? Father, I am not happy. Father, how can you and the elders be forcing a man I would call a foreigner to hold such a prestigious position? Father, that man Justin, is he not a foreigner? Justin is not a foreigner. He is not a foreigner. Justin is the son of the soil. Justin is the son of Philoma Kingdom. He is one of us. Father, he is not one of us. He is different. He doesn't even know the tradition. Besides, he's not interested. So why are you people forcing him? Oh, maybe you will now know more than myself. Or you are the one that gave birth to me. In case it might interest you, to know that when the gods decide, no mortal averts the decision of the gods. Listen, the gods have chosen. There is nothing you and I can do about it. Your Majesty. Oh, oh. Do you have a solution? No. Oh, oh. Can you question the gods? Can you challenge the gods? Can you fight the gods? What can you do? Answer me. Talk to me. This is always your home. You can come in any time you want, any day you want. It's like yours. <laughs> uh, where's uh, Ejoma? Let him take his back to the visitor's room. Ejoma! I can actually well, take it. My, my, wife, my wife, I don't know. Um, uh, I can actually take it in. No, no, my wife, no, no, my wife is here. Oh. Please take off us back to Oh, now you're welcome. Yes, thank you very much. I hope this visit is not about the usage of our title again. Oh, oh, not at all, not at all. <laughs> I came in to get some goods as usual. Am I the Igwe or the chief priest that I should be disturbing myself over that title? I wonder. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you, guys. Thank you. This one I'm here is in another time. I guess I have to go. Oh, you say? I can't believe that Delfo has come to talk to me again about this title issue. After I had made myself clear that I'm not interested. Huh? You have to be interested though. No. But I, I don't know why he would take this kind of huge risk coming all the way from the village all the time with these our dangerous roads. Huh? The last time I traveled, I, I narrowly escaped kidnappers. God forbid. It's impossible. Kidnappers will never no. see you. Amen. No. Our gods will always protect you. Amen. 
no evil formed or fashioned against you will prosper. See, see, nothing will happen to you. You get it? Whoever the gods have chosen to take care of their affairs, they always protect. Yeah. Of all, <laughs> is he saying the same thing? Yes. Huh? Does he say this thing? Yes, my brother. I am your sister, your blood. I cannot see you going astray and I leave you. I must surely bring you back. I know our tradition and culture very well. Please, accept the role the gods have bestowed on this family through you. Biko. You know, Sister Joe, you have never made any request and I refused it. Especially when it is within the limits of my power. Are you now saying that I should accept this title? Yes. Accept it. This is one of those requests. This one is very important. Yes. He has no choice. So, who are you trying to say my father has said that to take this time to? It is the decision of the gods. Uncle, I need to get something clear. Because I heard that every single thing about that title is fetish. And besides, my mom doesn't like it. <laughs> my son, it is not the decision of your mother to like it. She doesn't need to like it. It is the tradition of the people. Besides, you don't call it fetish. Yeah, even our late parents, your father's father, practiced it. The decision of the gods supersedes every other. Every, every village have their own cultural values. And the author title is one of such. You see, that is why whoever holds your four titles is the vessel and the mouth of the people. And that is why the gods chose him. Wait, Uncle. Are you trying to say your people have more than one God? Because, Cipro, it's just one God we know. <laughs> In Africa, we have gods, deities. You get it? One god is the white man's own idea. And that is what the Christians believe. Okay, but Uncle, I thought we are Christians. Of course. But Africans have their own gods. Even before the white man came in. It's not as if their, their, their God is more superior. Besides, we cannot just throw away our own God. You get it? And that is why this title is given to those with pure heart. You can see. Then, what are the benefits of one who holds this title? There are so many benefits. So many. Sis me. This is juice. It's good for your health. What kind of white juice? <laughs> These are things I think that make me look fresh. And you uh, say I'm looking fresh. Uh, <laughs> I would think. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Hey! Ah! ah. So too much it's sugar. Too. It's too sweet like the other ones. Would you prefer gin? Maybe I should give you gin. Which one is gin? Okogoro? Uh -huh. Hey! No! Something I did not drink while I was growing up. Is it now that I'm old that I'll be taking it? <laughs> no, hmm? it's to reset memory. <laughs> ah. But this one is good for your health too. Yeah. Yeah, take it. It's good. I will take it because of the health that you talked about. <laughs> mm. 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 
<laughs> Justin. Sister. I would like to I would like to talk to you about the the title. Sister again. Uh, ah. Again. Hmm? You know I did not sleep at night at all. I was thinking about it. And it dawned on me that um, knowing our tradition, knowing the gods of this land, that you should accept it. I know what happens if you reject the gift from the gods of our land. You know I grew up in. What happens? Consequences. Yes, consequences. Consequences, but... What's all this? <laughs> What's all this? Okay. Don't worry. They are not that serious that you can panic over them. But they are serious. Yeah? Please, accept them. Accept it. But sister, so are you saying that... I will help you. I will help you to succeed. Just accept it. So, so you are saying that? Eh. What is it? Why are you looking at me like that? Um, but um, what are you looking for? My keys. I mean, um, my keys. I don't even know where I left them. I can't find them. My keys. Um, where are you going to? I mean, can I come with you? Boris, I'm sure you know you cannot come with me. Now you don't even need to know where I'm going. Dad, I thought you were supposed to be going to the village. Village? What for? For the Mzeji of Four title, of course. I learned you accepted the title. Besides, Sister Oju told me it is not fetish. It is just an important aspect of our culture. Oju. Uh, well, she's right. Um, I will take the title, but not right now. At least I'm not going to the village now. Okay? Um, if I have to take the title, you're my first son. You should be by my side, especially during the coronation ceremony. So. <laughs> I'm going somewhere important. That's all you need to know. And again, let me tell you this, please. Don't let anyone know that I am leaving the compound until I have already left. Right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, my kids. She has been vomiting since. Oh, really? In that case, let's get her to the hospital. No, 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 I want to go home. Ah. You want to go home? Yes, sir. Why? Yes. Is your father a doctor? There is this herbal drugs that she used to take anytime he starts. So really? you give it to her when we get It's okay, go oh. right Get into the car, let me take you home. Let me drive you home, okay? Mm. Come, 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 come. Please, please. I...
thinking you've been talking to yourself for a very long time now what is it I don't mind I have a lot of things running and running in my head I can't get a hold of them have I eaten today eh? it's like I'm hungry see if I haven't eaten anything where's the job Surprised to see me, right? Well, um, I thought I should stop by and see how your sister is doing. I hope she's getting better. Oh, yeah, she is. Thank you very much, sir. Yes, thank God. Um, forget my manners. My name is Justine. And you are? Um, Melissa. Oh, that's a beautiful name. Sounds like something out of the movies. Ah, I, well, it's you I actually came to see. <laughs> me? Why? I hope there's no problem. Uh, no. <laughs> um, actually, there's a problem if you would just allow me to talk to you. Um, listen, Melissa, I don't know if anybody has ever told you this, but I feel like I'm standing with an angel standing with you. You are beautiful. Excuse me, sir. Um, there's nobody at home and I have a sea sister to take care of. So if you would excuse me. Yeah. Stand, there's no problem. I'll come back some other day. Melissa, you are beautiful. Justine. Mr. Justin. Who is Mr. Johnson? The man that brought us home a day before yesterday when you were sick. Oh. Sorry, I, I can't even remember his face again. How could you have remembered? The sickness was too much on you that day. Honestly. Oh, but he said yeah. he wanted to discuss something with me. Okay. And what was that he wanted to discuss with you? I don't know. I told him I wasn't interested in anything he wanted to say. You know, I think he's those married men that don't respect yourself. No, no. That, that man sounds nice. I Let's forget about it. Okay, please. Uh, I need a cup of water. Okay, I'll get it for you. So you're the one who has been coming here to look for my daughters? Point of correction. Elisa, in particular. So you even know her name? Bien, Mr. Mr. Justin. Or Dr. Justin. Mr. Justin, or Dr. Justin, or whatever you are called. Stop coming here to look for my daughters. I don't want to ever see you here again. Wait. What do you even want to do with my little Melissa? Are you a ritualist or you're into human trafficking? If you don't leave here this minute, I'll call the police to arrest you. <laughs> Ask him. And um, wait a minute. Is this the man you've been talking about? Exactly. Well, mister. Thank goodness I saw you today. Please, with due respect. 
I want you to turn around. Let me be seeing your back end. Leave this compound and never return back here again. Please, to avoid insult. Did you hear him? You heard him, right? Get out! Anabali Gosso. No one ever runs from money. Go. Go! I'm seeing your bucket now. Get out and don't come here again! We need new money. Are you telling us you are money? Look at him. Mama, let him go. This man looks like a rich his one. His money is a little. Look at his buttocks. Just look at him. What is it? First class citizen. Why are you looking at me as if you saw your twin brother? Or maybe your bank account officer. Mama, I'm inside. Uh, Mr. Justin, I am impressed, to say the most. Uh, the way you, you've done, you've done so much for us. Right? <laughs> Have you seen that uh, he's a young man with good intentions? He's a very nice man. <laughs> I salute your courage, sir. The way you came straight uh, to declare your intention, your genuine intention towards our daughter, <laughs> is commendable. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm uh, happy. Uh, well, thank you very much, Mr. Nathan. That is one mark of straightforward people. They come straight. <laughs> yeah, <I said> that <laughs> again. Anyway, um, I promise uh, that I will take care of Melissa very much and the entire family indeed. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> I told you, these are the kind of men I want to see around my daughters asking for their hands in marriage. And not all these uh, was up boys that wear their trousers and then draw it very close to their knee level with a big earring and dyeing their hairs, you know, with big uh, nicknames, uh, Top Gun, uh, 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 ch Big Chain and all what not. No. He is financially stable. <laughs> you heard what he said. <laughs> one more thing, then, Mr. Justin. This one is not negotiable. <laughs> Melissa must get to the level of at least uh, first degree. Eh? And I'll be happy. I would have done that, but you know. <laughs> Mr. Oh, my hands are tight, but yeah, and my dreams for her is bigger. And the rest of her siblings are. <laughs> you don't have anything to worry about. Huh? I have a PhD myself. Really? Oh, yes. So, oh, whatever God. level she wants to go to, my, she will oh, get the first degree. She wants to go, go to, to do her master's. Good. Even PhD. She wants it. Yes. There's no problem about she that. She wants it. Her. Listen, I want her to be an independent woman. I want her to be happy and be able to do things for herself and for her family. Oh. Yeah, so, you don't have anything to worry about. You have mesmerized me. <laughs> I, I have made in the house. I can take care of house shows. So, she has time. <laughs> so you have no fear at all. No, 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 I have no fear at all. No, what am I am? I said, bring drinks. Then Maya, Maya, no, no, no. Bring the drinks. Don't, don't, don't worry yourself. We still have lots of things to celebrate. No. And there are lots of reasons to be together. Like mm -hmm. Celebration, yes. So just leave it in the next amount. I'll, I'll just go Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I have a lot of business meetings. Oh, of course, I know. <laughs> Such a busy man. <laughs> well, uh, I, I would have loved to see you to where you park your car, but uh, let me still rejoice with my wife. This is too much for us. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, please, after you send your wife's account number, let me help her business. Oh my God. Before you get to your car, you will receive a life. You see? You see why it is always good for people to give people... He said you should send... I will send my account number instead. Have you seen it? He said you should send your account number. But I will send mine. Or maybe I should send hers so that she will be happy. Eh? Account number. I will send. Understand what? What have you been telling me? Oh, oh, oh. Right. <laughs> Justin, there is nothing you will do. If you like, throw me inside the chair. 
There's nothing you will do that will make me support you to marry another wife. Eh? Oh, Kenny, what are you looking for again? Naya, if Helen and Linda are not enough for you, go ahead and marry all the women in the whole world. Sister, don't shout. I will I shout. Don't want my wife to hear yet. Let them hear. Let them you and me. Now, eh? If it is shouting that will make you hear, I will shout. Oh. Ah, ah. What else do you want? What are you looking for in another woman? You will not go and bring one that will come and divide your home. No, sister. It's not possible. Melissa is a very good girl. Well brought up, well trained. She will fit in. Honestly. Melissa. Yes. Is that her name? Hi! The kind of name all these modern sports girls give themselves. Eh? When that girl comes in now, the peace in your home will disappear. Sister, it's not possible. Okay. The same peace that I had when I married these two women is the same peace I will have when she comes. I can control it. Sister. Okay. Okay, have I met you today? We did not have this conversation. Sister, you need to leave me out. We did not have this conversation. I have not seen you today. If I go out, see you, I'll say good morning. Let me go and play with the children God has blessed this family with. Say this. Melissa, I, I want you to think about this one more time. It's your future we're talking about. See, Dad, I'm a young girl with a bright future. And marrying that man would only jeopardize my future. You know nothing. The future you're trying to secure will be guaranteed by that man. Yes. But, Dad. The man in person is married. What will people say or think of me? Melissa, you should you should you should know that at this point in your life you shouldn't be worried about what people will think about you or say about you. You should be more disturbed about your welfare and that of your family. Yes, this man I'm talking about will put you through school. Nice school, very soon become uh, a graduate. And then he will start up a, a, a lucrative business for you. Dad, if anybody should be coming for me, then that person should be within my age bracket. And not that. Dad, do you know that man is, is too old for me? Even old enough to be our grandfather. Uh, I hope it's not what I'm thinking. I hope it's not that kidnapper, that nonentity, that escalate work, that temp that caused himself trouble that is deceiving you. Melissa, I know why I'm talking to you gently because you're still a little child. I'm trying to secure a future for you and that of your and and and, 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 and then your your your, 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 your siblings. Daddy, Daddy, please allow me to live my life. I will leave this house for you. I will leave this house for you. And I've forgotten how. That one is too good. Melissa. Okay. I heard everything you told her. But please, I want to beg you in God's name. Don't push this girl to the world. Was she outside the world before? Should I or should I not? I should actually call this It's my fault. Hello? Yeah, good evening. How are you? 
I call just because I, I want to beg you for something, please. Um, just talk to her on my behalf, I beg you. I don't want it to seem as if I'm using money to your hand. I think I need to start proving to you people that I am willing and capable of taking care of her and, and your people. Yes. Um, yes, it's okay. I'll see you before the week runs out. Thank you. Yeah, are you all right? Um, thank you. <laughs> I um, called both of you here to make my intentions known to you. Um, I have the intention of taking a new wife. What? I don't want anybody to ask me any questions on this. Um, it is for reasons beyond my control. For good. I'd like you to know that um, it is not going to affect the peace and tranquility, happiness that reigns in this house. It will not. The love will still be there. And. Um, most importantly, I don't want anybody carrying any long faces, angry moods, and uh, gossips all around the house or outside this home. Um, everybody will still get what they get. So, I don't see any reason. I just thought I should let you know so that it won't come to you as a surprise. That's it. Okay, so that's it. Good night. <laughs> hey. We can come out now. I told you before. There is garden of Eden outside of our gate. What is it? Come out, come out now. Let me show you. Daddy, is what? Daddy, no, 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 Justin, <laughs> see it. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you, sir. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, I, I, I'm happy, sir. I'm happy. <laughs> oh, all this for us, sir. You should have gotten a, a sachet of. Uh, you what I You know how I raise the economics. <laughs> this is what we do for people. <laughs> Thank you. God, where are you? Mom, why are you doing this to yourself? Please, this is not a crying issue. You know that way, I should not cry, right? Yes. I should jubilate. No, let me jump up and tell the world that all is well with me. Is that what you're saying? If somebody should tell me that, 
Your father, my husband, will turn into something else. I will not believe the person. But your father said I should not involve you people in my business. That he wants you to go to school. No problem. Today, the same person who said he wants you to go to school has vowed not to see you in school. Your father is sitting on all the money we've been making. And he was behaving as if it was a taboo for his daughter to get married. But today, he wants to sell Melissa to that old man. Is it good? What is happening? God, where are you? What is going on? Why is my own day different? It's from worst to worst. Oh, why is all this now? And now I try to cope. The more I have to see, I try to put it hard. The tough it got to be. Yes. The tough it got to be. I, I gotta push it on. The more it's I try to cope. The more I have to see, I try to push it on. It's obvious he's being hiding. I don't know. You can go and call Justin. Let me do that again. Greetings, Your Majesty, Igwe Omenoko of the Great Iloma Kingdom. The great tiger in the deepest of forests. It shall be well with you. Thank you, Your Majesty. Leave him long. That's it. It shall be well with you, Justin. Thank you, Your Majesty. My elders, I, I greet you. Yeah, well, welcome, welcome, welcome. welcome. Uh, you're welcome, um, Justin. As you sit, we don't have that time. Yes. So go straight to the point and tell us why you want to see us. <sighs> Your Majesty, please permit me to stand. Your Majesty, elders of our land, I bring you good news. Yes, let us see. After much deliberations and consultations with my family, I have decided to take up the title of Nzejiofo of, of this great kingdom. Wow! <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Please, I can let sit down. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you, my Welcome. May the gods be praised. Uh, <laughs> That's a very good one. Yes. Uh, you have all heard it. Loud and clear. Very clear. Very good. So there's no need wasting time. Yes, go ahead. So what are we waiting for? Igwe has said it all. Let us take a date for the ceremony mm -hmm. and let the preparation begin. <laughs> <laughs> May the gods be praised. See you. I have never seen anyone chosen by the gods and they finally turn back to forsake. I have never seen. So I am assuring you that you will never, never regret this decision. So, thank you, Your Majesty. I am honored.
Now listen, woman. One that spoiled daughter of yours. I don't want to ever see her near our husband again. It is your husband that is useless and spoiled. Tell him to go and look for another person's daughter and spoil. My own daughter is not available. Hey! Best thing. Get it for you and go. No, no. What is this old fool talking about? Is it our husband that you are calling useless? Eh? I don't blame you. Honestly, I don't. Look at this old, old, old agad fool. Agad, my baby. Old mama small picking. Is your husband not useless? No, tell me. I mean, with two wives and grown children, what does he want? Tell me. If you don't know your duties as wives to your husband, let me tell you. Tell him, or better still, go get a divorcee who is self starved. My daughter is not available at the moment. Mm -hmm. <sighs> wow. Sweetheart. I think we'll need to teach this woman. A little less. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. Come. What? Come! What are these fools trying to say? Look at. So that idiot you call your husband that has been coming here to disturb our peace. And we did not do anything. And both of you now have the guts to come to this place to come and fight us. Instead of you to go and challenge that man. And you are here talking nonsense. Now. Before I close my eyes and open them. In fact, both of you must have carried your useless body and leave this compound now. Before I, as in there, before I, oh, I, I shut you me. now. Hey, it's okay. Carry me. Carry me. I don't know. Carry me. Carry me. Carry me. Who are these women and what are these women in the house? My beautiful daughter Melissa. Go in and drop your bag. I saw this ones. I can handle them. <laughs> so you are the Melissa, Ochichocha. the rat that has bewitched my husband. Wow. <laughs> Did you just call me rat? Are you talking back at me? Of course. Yes. Hey, are you stupid? You cannot do anything. Yes. There is nothing you can do. Let's show them. Try it. Come on. You try it. What do you want? 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 foolishness outside this house to another man's compound, right? Hey! I don't blame you at all. I'm the one who has been over pampering you. And that's why you have grown wings to the extent that you do not even respect me again. Huh? Huh? No, 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 no. I am not going to tolerate this at all. Huh? I'm sure that you thought I was the one you are disgracing. No, no, not me. You are disgracing yourselves. And I heard of how you ran with your two left legs and your tail in between your legs from the place. <laughs> Justin, you are the wife. <laughs> you are the one disgracing yourself. You are the one disgracing yourself. Eh? Look at the little rat that you are running after. You are the one. You are the one disgracing yourself. How old were you, Helen, when I married you from your father's house? 
Is it not because you have been eating my food and money? That's why you are now big like this. You and Melissa, well, you know, this is almost the same. You are talking. Little rat, little Look at what little rat did to you. Beat you blue and black. Look at you. See your face. Gee. Your family is not in support of this. Even the girl's family rejected you. Why can't you just let this be and allow peace to reign? You are the ones who don't want peace to reign. You can say whatever you want to say. I will marry Melissa whether you like it or not. No one can change it. In fact, it is Melissa who used to take the new title huh? in the village. Is that what you're saying? Yes. <laughs> Let her come. Mm. Let her come. <laughs> Let her come. Let her just. Let her come. She will come. And there's nothing you will do. In fact, when she comes, because she has already seen your foolishness, you that went to disgrace yourself in the house, I'm going to tell her to beat you more when she comes. Any day you misbehave, she will hand it over to that and maybe it's the second part. Get out of my room. Don't bring you know. my slippers home. Go and bring my slippers from that house. Did you bring slippers? Go and bring my slippers. Did you bring the slippers from the father's house? Go and get out of my room. Disgraceful things. I said leave my room. You don't want to leave. Where's my rifle? Mind you, are. What's the problem? And to do, we are not happy with you. Ah. What did I do? You're here. And your brother Justin is trying to take another wife. You're not even saying anything. Hmm. Best thing, how can she say something? Eh? How can she say something when she is the one supporting him? How? That's not true. Really? Yes. That's not true. But you're the one that talked him into taking that title. And it's because of this same title that he is taking a new wife. You know what? I'm just sitting, watching carefully to see what you will achieve from all this nonsense. Like I said earlier, it's not true. Then what is true? Justin never does anything that you do not support. He doesn't. And you're here being honest. Honestly, I'm too drunk to support you. I'm disappointed. Hi. Well. I heard your voices, but it is not true. It is not true. As a matter of fact, Auntie has been very supportive. God bless you. She's been the one talking to Dad on your behalf. Yes. Until you both decided to go to Melissa's house and fight. Boris, watch your tongue. Mom. Dad is very angry. He's angry with both of you. Justin, Your Majesty, the crisis in your family is not good for us. At all. Especially this time that you are talking about taking a title. Your Majesty, if I may understand what you just said, you do not want me to marry a new wife. No, 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 no not exactly. Not exactly, Justin. But, but if you taking a new wife um, has been causing problem or is causing problem in your family, I think you should, you should, you should let it be. You can forget about the new wife for a while. After all, it is not part of the requirement for the title. 
I quite understand your point, Your Majesty. But I believe, Your Majesty, that um, a man who wants to take a title as Nzeji uh, Ofo of this land should uh, take a new wife with it to mark the event, just like our fathers of old did. <laughs> um, Your Majesty, I know that um, you do not have this information, but I'll give it to you. These my wives who came to report me to you were the same ones who did not want me to accept this traditional title. And if I had followed them and refused the traditional title, I would have faced the wrath of the gods because I would have disobeyed them. And we would not be here today. Your Majesty, I put it to you that there is no crisis in my family. Uh, but if you feel I should not uh, take a new wife, then I might as well forget the title. No, uh, no, 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 Justin. The title is very, very important. And no, Justin, you may forget about the issue of a new wife. Uh, don't just let the issue of a new wife a comment to this title of a thing. Uh, after all, uh, the head can exist without a cap. A cap is just a symbol. Your Majesty. Two things are evolved. One, my wives cannot dictate to me what to do. I want to take a new wife to mark the new title. I'm a man. It is my private life. I take my decisions. They cannot decide for me. Secondly, Your Majesty, a man who wants to take this new title must be a man that is firm because it requires so. Do you want me to be a weak man? Oh, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, forget about my wives. I will marry a new wife, and nobody can change that. I beg to take my leave. It seems Dustin has made up his mind. To marry a new wife, a third wife. Yes. Hmm. I know Justin very well. When he sets his eyes on something, he doesn't go back. He really has made up his mind. And from the look of things, if anything should stop it, it will definitely affect the ceremony plans. It is not just affecting the the Jofo title ceremony plans. But as we are speaking, the effort made to discourage him from marrying a new wife has already caused something. In fact, has become something else. What is that thing? Justin threatened to drop the title if he is not allowed to get married to that girl. Not at this stage. <clears throat> not at this stage. It is very clear now that Justin would not change his mind about marrying a third wife. So, what do we do? The fear of his wife is that Justin having a younger wife will totally take over his attention. And at that stage, it is better for him to be allowed to marry a new wife. However, he must not use that new wife as his bride when receiving that title. 
That sounds better. Yes. Oh, all right, all right. Oh no. You will. Oh, for. What of you should relay the message to Justin? Tell him that we are solidly behind him. That we are in support. He should go ahead and marry a, a third wife. Mm -hmm. uh, Igwe, I'll beg to leave now. Because uh, I'll need to go and put one or two things together before it is too late. So that by tomorrow early, I'll be leaving for the city. Uh, it's all right. Yeah. It's all right. Go and go well if you're leaving. And when you get there, um, extend our greetings to him. And don't forget to tell him that we are in support of him getting married to the very girl. No problem. That's very good, Igwe. Thank you very much. Igwe. We shall be well with you. <coughs> Igwe, uh, please let me go and check my palm wine in the farm. It's a long way ago. You know, all is not more than palm wine. Each time you sometimes he walks out of the meeting, he wants to go and check palm wine. <laughs> have you have you deemed it fit to at least think about uh, even if it is a calabash for palm wine? I'll say we have this world. Hey, would it aid us? Um, Igwe, I know I've not done that all this while, but I promise to do it this time. Hey, never mind. <laughs> go go and check your palm wine. Listen, I'm relieved. Father, how can you give a go ahead to that man's proposal? Oh, you just want to make sure he upholds that position. What is wrong with him getting married to a new wife? He just wants to marry a new wife. And we will do our best to give him a full support. So we can equally uphold our tradition. Tradition? A tradition he's about to dissolve. A tradition he knows nothing about. A tradition he don't even know how to move from left to right. The throne and the entire household is about to be dissolved. Ah! Don't say any more words. Don't! I want to see your back right now. Let me see your back. Yeah, hello. Happy Sunday. Yes. Oh no, I was just resting after church. Yes. Oh. No, my mind is already made up on that issue. I have even told the Igwe. Yes. Uh, thank you, sir. No, okay. I, I will think over this issue. I will think over it. Thank you very much. Those women are daring me. I keep saying it. And I think it's because I am soft on them. Yes? All right, thank you. And like I said, I will sleep over this issue. I will think about it. And then I will get back to you. All right? Thank you for calling. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't know. My mind is already made up and sealed. Period. Nothing will change it. He will surely get it as he needs it. Honestly, I am so ashamed of him. I don't even know what to say again. You need to see the way he used his gun and chased us out of the house. Simply because we did not support him. What has come over here? Is this connected to the title stuff? It is not. Even the Igwe tried to stop him. But guess what? He refused entirely. <laughs> I no. We are now old women. Justin needs fresh blood. Fresh blood. Honestly, I don't know where he got this courage from. I think someone is pushing him. Mm -hmm. I am not a part of this. This is foolish. We need to do something very fast. We can't just let him go ahead like this. What is happening here? What is happening here? What is happening? 
Is she not supposed to be coming with you guys? Is she not inside? Marissa left early in the morning from this house. So where is she? Wait, you, you mean she has not been with you for the restaurant? Wait. No. Since morning she has not come back home. Hmm. Where is she? Please, can we go and look for her? This is all like her. Yes. Uh, uh, Uche, uh, yes. Ring, ring her phone. Ring. Uh, uh, but how can I do that when you, you, you seize the phone? Huh? I remember you seized that phone. It's, it's true. Uh, oh, yeah. uh, Sonia, I, I think uh, she... Uh, 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 Daddy, she didn't tell me anything. I don't know her whereabouts. Are you sure? Of so course I don't. Sonia, you say you don't know your sister's whereabouts? I don't know, mommy. Is it not that that has been disturbing her with marriage or anything? We should be asking him. Mesa has never left this house this way before. Every time married. This and that, Justin. Hello? Justin. You understand? Prescott. So, you've been holding an alliance with those witches? Justin, you amaze me. Just because you want to marry a new wife, you are not calling your two wives witches? Anyway, for the records. I am not a party to any alliance. What is not good is not good. I want you to drop that fruitless ambition of a new wife and let peace return to your life. Just look at you. You're troubled. Yes, Prescott, I am troubled. Deeply troubled. And you know why? No. How can you know? Melissa is missing. Justin, you are not normal. How can I be normal? How can I be normal? When my beautiful Melissa is missing, the love of my life, how can I be normal? Now, I'm talking to you now, Prescott. Go and tell those two, Linda and Helen, that if I do not find Melissa, if I do not find her, I will not only chase them out of my house, but I will lock them in the deepest dungeons in the police headquarters. Mark my words. Just say, calm down. I can see that you're running mad. Oh, yes, those women are running me mad. Why should they kidnap someone's daughter just because I want to marry her? Does it make sense? Just tell you don't know what you're saying. All I'm saying right now is that I need a drink. If you're interested, come with me. If not, watch it.
He's here. He's here. Listen, I will take care of the bills. I've had medical insurance. I have money to pay. But you need treatment. Oh, I don't say that I'm fine. You please allow me to rest. It's okay. Mr. Joseph. Yes, um, let's go outside. I know you're Okay, I was going to have to take her to Okay, don't think about it. So, yes. Because as soon as I get to the hospital, I'll feed you with the address okay. and the, the bills. Okay. How much they say they will pay, I'll let you know what's happening. Yeah? Daddy, are you going to sit down here like someone that lost a lesson? Can't you see that our mother's body is getting worse? So? What do you want me to do? Daddy, we need to take her to the hospital now. Of course now, all these drugs that we are buying at the chemist, they are not helping matters. They are not helping it. Can't you see that how uh, uh, she is shivering? See daddy, you need to bring money so we take mommy to the hospital. Who told you that money is a problem here? Was Justin not here and opted to take her to the hospital? What did she do? She declined. What does she want? If this sickness is serious as you people claim to, 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 that it is, she should accept to be taken to the hospital. Hey. Mommy, why now? Eh? You should have allowed him to take you to the hospital. Eh? Which one is Mommy? Why? Is Mr. Johnson Mommy's husband? If she dies, I will bury her life goes on. Hey! Have you seen it? You see, you see the reason why I just want, if I can just have my end here, I'll be okay. Anybody that has first class, their brain is not normal. Daddy, 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 please let us do something. You know. Let's talk and talk fast. Let's talk and talk fast. Let's talk The doctor said that she's going to be fine. And you keep asking me what is about the doctor's report. I mean, how am I to know if there is another thing in, in the report rather than. Hey! <laughs> My prospective in law. <laughs> You're welcome, sir. Hi. How are you? Good morning. Welcome, sir. Uh, is that how you greet your husband? Just standing there and saying, Welcome, sir. 
Beta. Belly, belly. No, uh, I, you know, she's just a child. <laughs> yes. It's okay. This smile and touch uh, and, and greeting, you know, is enough for oh, me. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> yes, uh, well, I was on my way to work, so I thought I should stop and check how you, your wife is doing. Now. So, how is your mother? Have you gone to see her? Yeah, she's getting better. Ah, yeah, Mr. Justin, yeah, she's getting better. And the, the doctor said that she will be discharged soon. So we yeah, hope so. Okay, that's uh, good. That's good. Uh, um, that's the kind of news we want to hear. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, uh, see this money. Take this one. Uh, uh, this is for you to be able to offset the hospital bill of your mother. Hey, oh. Hey, oh. <laughs> Thank you. God will bless you. Uh, God will bless you. Uh, hey, so oh. when you get to the hospital, Send you well to her. Oh, of eh? course, I, I will. I will, sir. I will. <laughs> better, better. Hey, my in law. Uh, it's all right. Uh, better, one more thing. I was just looking at the environment, and uh, I believe that this environment must have contributed to her illness. Uh, yes, you deserve to be in a better place. I mean, my mother in law should be in a better place so that it not affect her health. So I don't want when she comes back from the hospital for her to stay in this place again. Wouldn't all go well for her. I don't understand that. Uh, what I'm saying is that um, there's this house I built some years ago. I would just put uh, some finishing touches inside, and then um, when she comes back, people can move to that place. Hey! Stay there. Hey! <laughs> Police, oh, thank you. Thank you very much. I don't know. God will bless you. This is what you will do for people. No, no, okay. no, 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 no. Let me, let me appreciate. Yeah. Sometimes when something like this happens, you have to share gratitude yeah, immediately. I know, but not really now. Please, <laughs> please, please. please. Oh, God will bless you, sir. No, it's okay. Thank you. Uh, Thank you very much. Uh, you know, it's okay. anything that will make my Melissa happy. Oh, she's happy. I will do. <laughs> she's happy. <laughs> I'm happy too. Uh, all right. Uh, uh, let me rush off to work. To work? Uh, for better. Mm. Let me know if there's any other that thing. Oh, no, there's yeah. nothing. There's nothing. Yeah. There's nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Please uh, drive, drive carefully. Don't to drive and be making calls. It's dangerous, you know. Very, <laughs> very. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. You, uh, you see, God in you are wonderful. God, you are wonderful. You are wonderful. This is what you have missed. I keep telling you about this. Agree with my plans. You, you will not. Have you seen it? Eh? In fact, we are going to the hospital together. Halele, quickly. What's that stuff about? Are you sure you use that money for? I said, let us go to the hospital straight away. Look at. Hmm. Nah, you people are lucky. These days, ah, in our days, at this your age, you cannot be living with your parents now. Bano, at this your age, you're supposed to have been married. And defending for your own family, your wife, your children. Hmm? You cannot be <laughs> relying on your oh, your mothers are here. And children. Huh? And so this is your plan, right? Fine. Since you want us to leave this house for you and your brother, we will leave. How? I don't understand. Mm. Mom, what don't you understand? Okay. Mom, what? Tomorrow now, she'll be calling us our wives, our wives, our wives. Don't even call us our wives. Don't bother calling us your wives at all because we are not your wives. Exactly. We are not. If we were your wives, we would have talked to your brother not to take another wife. Let me ask you, what is all you're saying? Is you know now on a 1,000 Naira note? Eh? That is so important to me like that. Eh? I spoke to my brother, Ojo. I thought, what, what, what would I have done to him? Eh? In any way the he goat likes, let him shout and cry. The owner will still have to sell it if he wants to. What? Mm -hmm. Did you hear that? Is that what you are saying? Uh -uh. Is that all you have to say in this matter? Uh -uh. I would have caught, you, caught my brother into two. Because I'm on wine. I spoke to him. I made him see reason. Oh, you, would I have killed him? Huh. Eh? Hey. Eh. I see. So you are the architect of this whole plan. Obviously. 
This whole move, you are the architect. You are the brain behind it. Oh. What? Mm. Nah. Hey, hey, you know who we were talking? Before they came in. <laughs> Boys! Get inside. Or say so fast! Sit down. <laughs> now listen. I am your mother. Get inside. I'm your aunt. Stay here. I said get inside! Stay here! Boys! Uh, what was that? Now listen. I'm your mother. I'm your mother! I'm your aunt! I'm your mother! Stay here! Stay here! I'm your aunt! I said get inside! Boys! Stay here! I said stay here! What is that? Huh? I said get inside! What is wrong with you? What can you do? What is it? Um, I brought the two lists so that you can um, check it if um, there's something to I estimated wrongly you can help me. No, no, leave it. Let, this marriage won't leave it. Let's deal with this one from regarding the title. No, now the marriage and the title are not um, too far apart. Let's just do it and know that we have done it. I understand. They, give me the one for the child. Uh, this, this marriage one, leave it. I've provided enough money for, to take off everything that is there. The one that is important is this time. You know this time, you keep adding things every day. Different things. Uh, uh, how are you, Philo? I'm fine. <laughs> uh, hey, I'm sure you give because your father must have told you I'm getting married. I'm taking a new one. Uh, it's even good because on that day you are going to helping all the sharing and all those things see you now you're complaining that she came to visit you because her father thought you how many times have you visited her father this is my brother uh, you have to come because of all the convincing <laughs> all right Welcome, my dear. Uh, thank you uh, <laughs> so that's like, what i'm saying yeah. this one this different things keep coming so we need to scrutinize, you know this time. Oh, scrutinize the one who knows. That's what I'm talking about. But this marriage is giving you the same amount of money for it. So it's okay. Ah! Look at this woman. Look at this woman. You're eating without calling me? Does it mean I'm not going to have dinner? Really? Suddenly I lost your appetite. Say me well to your people. Yes, they'll be here. No problem at all. <laughs> well done, Bobby. Excuse me. Yes, uh, sir. <laughs> it's just that this one that you insisted on going, despite the rain. Uh, Should have waited. I must stop me. It is, the time is not on my side, you know. Exactly. And consider our route. <laughs> well, everything is well planned. Thank God you didn't leave anything out of it. Ah, thank you and thank God too for everything you have done, all the advice. Um, now that once we just finish the marriage, then we proceed with the title. Money for everything is available, so nothing should actually hold it. Well, I'm happy. You have turned to the ways of our people. Yeah. <laughs> this way you both in almost to cover you. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> they will notice my presence during the wedding ceremony. I trust you. Uh, wait, um, Ijama! Ijama! Bring up Reva quickly! No, 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 no. Let her bring up Reva. Okay. Ijama, be fast, please. Thank you very much, Reva. Alright, so that's what my conclusion is. This one, I thought I would return it again. Thank you very much. 
Alright, I'm a Alright. Alright, this is so that uh, that taxi can carry it. You're calling someone idiot in this house. Nah. Because no one idiot no no nah. Any idiot in this house? You don't know. You don't know there are idiots in this house. Yeah. Eh? Please, Linda, calm down. Leave me alone, Biko. Huh? Shouting. Oh, which means you're guilty. You're telling me to leave you alone. Which means you're guilty, right? Eh? That is your guilt of this. Okay. I am the one that ate the fruits. Mm. Mommy, do your worst. Really? Hey! That I should do my worst. Do your worst! Ah! I don't blame you. Try it again, Hey! Don't try it again! Oh. Hey! 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 You're just one big painful. Oh, really? You just called me a fool, right? Mm -hmm. It's all your fault. A fool brought you into a happy husband's house. I'm a fool, right? I settled you with all my heart. You were like my sister. I'm a fool, right? It's not your fault. Mm -hmm. I don't blame you. Listen, you are biting more than you can chew. Let this be the first and the last time you will try me. Else, nonsense. What will you do? Get in there, man. What will you do? We are all over. What did you get? What will you do? You can't do anything. Ordinary food. Ordinary food. Hello? I've told you to stop calling me when I'm on the highway. What is going on? Yes. Now, listen, listen to me. Listen carefully. I have told you people that we not tolerate what is going on in that house. Hey, now, now let me warn you. Since you people do not want peace, each of you will move away from that main house and move to the boys' quarter. The boys' quarter have two flats there. You take one flat, the other person takes the other flat. You have everything well equipped. Kitchen, everything you need. Stay in the boys' quarters. Nobody must come to that main house. If I come back to town and meet anybody in the main house, you should be rather imagine that this cause what will happen to you. And let me warn you, everything is in that boys' quarter. Everything you need. Refrigerator, kitchen, everything. Everybody cook by yourself. If you want fruits, take your fruit. If you go to somebody else, someone else's place to take fruit or to take food, then you are the one who went to look for trouble. I'm tired of this kind of problem. How can I marry two wives? I'm have enough I have enough money to take care of you. Yet you people will not let me have peace. Move to the boys' quarters. If I catch anybody when I come back to town in that main house, you will see what will happen to you. Yes, you Linda. Take that other side. You take the you Helen. Take the other one. What is this? Won't I let I have peace because I married you people? This is the last I'm going to talk about. Let me come back and meet anybody in that main house. You will see what will happen. What kind of nonsense is this? Ha! What's this? Let me just catch anybody in that in that main house. Everybody to the boys' quarter.
Hello, Mom. M Mom, I'm not fine. Mom, can you imagine? Justin has thrown I and Linda in the boys' quarters. That's where we now stay. Just because of that little rat that he married, Mom. Mom, honestly, I'm not finding this funny. I am not finding this funny at all. Why now? This is unfair. Mom, you need to talk to Justin. Don't tell me to calm down. You need to talk to Justin. Mommy, I can't take this. Oh. I can't take this. Okay, ma. All right, ma. Bye. Can you imagine? She was on that white one. What is wrong? Just leave me. Don't touch me. Uh -uh. Have I offended you? Anyway, you know, as uh, newly married people, we still need time to understand each other. For me, all you have to do is have patience. Be patient with me. It will work out well. Huh? Look, I think we already understand each other. How I am disturbed. Why? Huh? My darling, your wives. <sighs> Look, you have to make peace with them. I know if if we make peace with them, we we'll live happily together. You know, the way one of them pushed me today. I didn't want to fight with them. But then I still feel we have to make peace with them. At least for my sake, please. Hmm. You know, you have a way of melting my heart. Yeah, for your sake, I will. Thanks. Okay? Is that why you are now come to bed? It's my bed. As I look on the cross and I behold my Savior there, then I heard a voice. My jewel of the nail, <laughs> my pearl, Kuri Pai. <laughs> it's not those little children that just got married, they won't be calling themselves Kuri Pai alone. We do the old cargoes who call us. Who is an old cargo? Good man. Honey, <laughs> the excitement <laughs> on your face is too much. Yes. Where are you coming from? My and what is in these bags? My face is glowing. <laughs> I got a call from uh, Mr. Justin. Guess what? He told me that I should come to his office. My mind skipped. When I got there, surprise, surprise. Check it out, check it out, check it out. I know, Sarah. Wonderful. Yeah. For you, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. It's beyond that. I wonder how he knew that I needed this badly, right? After uh, a good sale at the shop. I'm just shoving my money inside there. Nobody will know that I'm carrying anything. That's it. Well, I still have some that you don't like. Yeah. <laughs> I know you like it. It's your favorite color. Oh, I know. And then, here we go. The gold. Gold. Wow! This is good. They like it? My goodness. I love this. Oh, you love it? Now. This is good. 
Now you will put a call across to Mr. Justin. You tell him thank you. Okay? All right. No, it's not just all right. You call him to tell him thank you. Oh, wait a minute. Yes. It's ringing. It's ringing. Pick it, pick it, pick it, pick it. Just answer it. Just answer, answer. Uh, uh, good afternoon, Mr. Johnson. My name is Jane. Melissa's mother. Sir, so I just want to say thank you for the beautiful things you bought for my husband and I. They are good. They are beautiful. Thank you, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. We will be expecting you. Thank you. You done? Great. Man, you have to thank me. <laughs> thank me, if not for my descending spirit. Mm -hmm. This marriage will not have work, so thank me. You can mm -hmm. thank you for your descending spirit. Yeah, it's not just thank you for your descending spirit. Thank me here. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Hey, you well. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God! I know. Okay. This man is just a. Okay. Uh, uh, Can you just uh, help me? That I will do perfectly. I will do that. Mm -hmm. So color, good plus good. What is happening? It should be good for August meeting. Uh, oh, you like? Oh, that's good. When you get there, people will be jealous. Well, um, I just want to remind you people that uh, we're going tomorrow, and that everybody should be ready on time. Not just that, okay. we're not going to stay long there. So don't take too many things with you. Okay, Daddy. Okay? Okay, okay Daddy. Um, Daddy, are we also getting titles? No. <laughs> I'm the only person <laughs> taking titles, my dear. You are coming as an observer to clap and dance. So, Daddy, we get to see masquerades and all this. Oh, see, friend, you will see everything you want to see. Yeah. Masquerades, dance steps and all that. But what I don't want is distraction during the coronation. Mm, Nobody should distract me. Mm. Okay, yeah. Daddy. And please don't forget anything. No going back to pick anything. <laughs> all right? <laughs> That's okay. I hope all your clothes are ready. Yes. Mine has been ready for ages now. By the way, where's my sister? Oh, Daddy, she went to see the fashion designer. She has some little amendments to make on her dress. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, all right. So, my clothes are ready. Ah. <laughs> Daddy, if you see my dress, <laughs> and if you see my dress, we never gonna get it for you. Last <laughs> What's wrong with this one? <laughs> this time. No, nobody should be jealous of her. Really? <laughs> our community is really blessed. Yes. We need our communities. You know that I was very skeptical over the choice of Justin by the cause. But look. How successful the ceremony was. Igwe says that the gods are wise. I agree with you. The gods yeah. are wise oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very correct. The new wife added color to the ceremony. That woman is his traditional wife. Do you know that? She will be more recognized than the other ones who refuse to attend. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. Uh, you know, I allowed him to get married to that woman. Um, hoping that he will make use of his old wives. But the truth is that destiny has come to play. Does it? So, uh, but, but by the way, what is Orano and um, others? What are they? Those men could not control their thirst. They must have had much to drink. <laughs> it's part of it. That is part of it. 
It is allowed. But stay, Justin. To always be very close to you. The palace and to everything that concerns the tradition and custom of this land. Do I need to tell you? Justin is more prepared to hold the title than we even think. <laughs> Here he comes. Here he comes. Who's what? Let me Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me for Ezio go one. You have a little. Oh, no. Oh, Thank you, Lord. Keep saying congratulations. You will continue to say congratulations. Nze, Jofo, Ezu, go on. In fact, if I knew that this cap would fit well like this, I would have taken this title too soon. <laughs> 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 My dear, oh, you know, um, when someone gets married like this, mm -hmm. it's not going to be easy at first instance because you have to take care of your husband, you have to take care of your new home, perform your duties, uh, but then your family, your brothers and sisters, your parents, uh, you won't be able to forget them in your home. That's true, my little sister, I understand. <laughs> but you have to concentrate, okay? Here is your new heart. Definitely. So I don't I have to come up with things here. Really? But I'm trying to do this. Oh my what god, what did I just <laughs> What's that one? Look at these things. What are you two doing here? Look at... You think I won't remember you? I remember you. You connived with your mother to seize my slippers in your house, right? Where my slippers in? Did you bring it? What do you mean? Also, get up! Get out of this house now, madam. This is also my house. And in case you don't know, this is my sister. Yes. And yes, my sister can come and visit me in my house anytime she wants. Itarako for kesi gidi. No, no. Are you talking to me? I don't blame you now. It's just that I blame for bringing this rat into this house. I don't blame you. You're talking to me anyhow, okay? I'm looking at work anyhow. What? Oh. Oh. Yes. You slapped me. You shut up, very stupid for what you just did. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Now I thought I kept it here. Oh. How are you? I'm fine. Um. So uh, how how has it been? Fine, thank you. Uh, Sonia, Sonia, you you mean you've been fine? Chief boy, I am fine, yes. I I have not been seeing Melissa too. How is she? She's fine. Um, I, I 
that she's now married to a very rich man now. He's okay. You see, this um, that's the kind of thing your father wants. The, uh, very wealthy in-law. Why are you saying this? Sonia, I have noticed something about your father. Look, in the beginning when I was talking with you, he was not happy about it. But it's not my fault. Look, it's not as if I'm poor. This marriage thing is not about money. We can grow together, Sonia. We can work things out. Chiboy, please. We can see some other time soon. As you can see, I'm going somewhere. I, I just stopped by. I, I was searching for a key for the gate. So. The key for the gate? Yes. Have you guys packed out? <laughs> Chiboy, please. What is happening here? I be spying on you or oh, is there anything you're doing wrong she's even asking me a question you are asking me questions okay so because you knew no one was around that's why you came to my apartment to bury charms up where i said it i said it that you are evil but i've caught you today hey can you stop this thing you're doing did you just call me by my name? Is that not your name? Come on! Oh, okay, no, 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 you and I know that this Melissa is your mate. Eh? She's your mate. Why are you always causing unrest here? Mama, how can this little girl, this little brat, be my mother's mate? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I'm a full mate as in age mates. They are called wives. <laughs> okay, then what is she doing around here? You want to say no? My friend, take your two left legs out of here. What 
cutting yourself the more. I'm not going back to that house. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. I have tried. We can just make my life a living hell. Every day, they find new methods to make my life a living hell. Please come back. <laughs> Mommy, she is not exaggerating. You need to see what those women did to me the last time I visited there. Especially that one called Helen. Honestly, if that is how they treat her every day, we need to allow her to come back home. Yes. Every day. Please. Let her come back home. She's doing this every day. My question is, what is Justin doing about this? Melissa, please, I am sorry. I beg of you. Eh? Madam, I beg you, please, I am sorry. Please, if you want me to kneel down. No, 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 please, don't do that. Eh? I don't want customers to come in and notice what is happening. Mr. Justin, please, make peace in your home. Make peace, stop the fight in your family. If Melissa comes complaining again, I will have no option that to take her back. Ah, but I'm no now. I'm, honestly, it will not happen again. I promise you. That kind of thing will not Ask her. It will never happen again. It's not a matter of promise. You're the man, the head of your family. Please take charge. I'm in charge, you madam. I'm, ask Melissa. I'm in charge. Honestly, like I said, it will happen again. It's okay, I've heard you. But you're not taking her with you now. My husband needs to talk to you. I already spoke with him on the phone for coming here. Look, no. this is not a phone issue. It's not a phone issue. I am sorry if I'm sounding harsh, but you should understand. I already went to the house because I didn't, you know, see you in the house and I had to come all the way to this place. I spoke with him on the phone. You will see you one on one. Now, eh? my date is good though because you see, this big house it cannot contain us at all, at all, at all. Shameless girl, oh, chicha, chicha, white cockroach, white witch that is what you are. Husband snatcher, cable. You are a husband snatcher following a man who is old enough to be your great grandfather. Mm -hmm. I spoke about where we decide to smoke back. Baby, mad woman.
What do I do to bring peace into this house? Everyone is fed up with all the troubles. Even Dad. Dad is tired of all the fights. The women are not finding it easy either. I, I don't even want to talk about my mother. Because lately she's beginning to look way older than her real age. She's even beginning to start acting like a witch. What do I do? Mm. Auntie. You are the man of the house now. And you have to brace up to that responsibility. I want you to call your siblings. Call them together. You all should come together and talk to your mothers. Make them understand that they shouldn't make life difficult for everyone in this family. I'm sure they will listen to you. Uh, Auntie, I have been talking. I have lost count of how many times I've spoken about this issue with my mother. Somehow I, I am beginning to feel this, this is not a talking issue anymore. Yes, I believe you. But try that. Oh? Yes. Try that. Yeah, um, all the holiday plans have been made, concluded, and then you will all get your own one after the other. What's wrong with you, Dad? I hate you so much right now, Dad. Excuse me? Why would you hate me? What have I done wrong to deserve such hatred? Don't you see how you treat us? You do no longer love us. Treat us like we're not What's going on with that? Can somebody tell me what is up? Anyway, I'll find out myself. Where is that come? Um, I want both of you to start doing business. So, I want you to go and uh, think about it. Think of what business idea you would like to execute. Uh, let me know. Also, make a list of everything that will be required for that business. And then a rough estimate of the startup capital for that reason and get back to me. Okay? I hope I'm talking to human beings. I heard you. But I don't think I am ready to start any business now. I am not ready to do any business either. Wait though. Justin, are you punishing us because we are not in support of your excesses in this house? Hmm. Anyways, I will not do any business. The money that you make is enough for all of us in this house. You are a rich man. Mm -hmm. mm. Jay, you think we are idle, right? 
That is why you want us to go to the shop in the morning and return in the evening. It will not work. Mm -hmm. It will not work. And come to think of it, I think it's even um, Melissa that is putting this idea into your head. Yes! <laughs> but you know what? Mm. It will not work. It won't. Whatever I am doing, I am doing for your own good. I don't want you to be lazing around inside the house and then decay before your time. Really? Anyway, if you want to do anything for our own good, let Melissa return to wherever you picked her from. Wow! <laughs> This is a lot of Melissa. <laughs> I know. They don't want to do anything. They just want to be free, sit at home, eat, drink, make noise, and quarrel. That's all they want to do. But you know what? <laughs> you have something else coming for you. You will have me to contend with. Can you imagine this lazy woman? This is mini witchcraft that you want to do. You want to practice, but it won't work. Ivan, hmm? something has really been bothering me, you know. What's that? What do you think about everything that's going on at home? What is going on? Are you seriously asking me that question? Don't you know that there was trouble in the house? <laughs> I mean, our mothers are not happy that father brought in another wife. I even heard he offered to help them start up any business of their choosing, but they declined his request. For me, I think, I really think their anger is becoming self-destructive. That one is their own headache. Like you said the other time, I am a woman and very soon I will get married and leave the house. I can't wait to graduate. Yes. So I will leave the house. The moment we travel abroad for this holiday, I will not return if I have my way. <laughs> I, I don't just understand. So this is just what you have to say. This whole thing you just said now is everything that makes sense to you. What do you want me to say? Traveling abroad and marrying. <laughs> Ivan, don't forget you are the eldest child. The house. Ah, Boris, don't forget that you are the first son of the house. So it is your duty to put things in order. Please, I want to jog and I don't want to gist. I'm tired. Come be tired. Hello? Oh, Melissa, my love. I hope no problem. I just left you in the office now. Emergency. What happened? Oh my God! What kind of problem is this? Tricycle? Accident? Oh, I, I hope it's not so serious. No, I think we've had enough of this now. Um, you know what? I'm going to have to buy you people a car. Because uh, I can't have my mother-in-law mounting on tricycles all the time. Yes, because I can't afford my mother-in-law uh, jumping on tricycles and having accidents here and there. Oh my God. I'm sorry about that. I, oh no, I don't want anything to hurt you, please. All right then. Okay. Cheers. Oh, God. Tricycle accident. I just have to buy this car for them. Eh? Is any food on Google Mountain on tricycles? That's terrible. Ah.
I've been here all by yourself. I decided what? I want to go back to the village. Ah! You? You want to go back to the village? To stay there or to go and come? To live there. To live there? Eh, <laughs> you're not just thinking straight at all. Stop thinking straight. Very straight for that matter. You see those women? They have become thorns in my flesh. After everything I did for them and their families, yet they will not let me drink water and keep me up. In fact, I cursed the day I married each of them. Huh. You see, you need to reconsider your decision. Huh? How can you go back to the village to say? What about your businesses? What about your investments? What about... Just can't leave that thing. You know who I am very well. You know me. Once I have made up my mind, I have made up my mind and it's fine now. After all, businesses are online these days. Yeah. It's okay. If you have decided to go and live in the village, it's either I go with you or I go ahead of you. Don't open. What's the point saying here? Take it easy, Johnston. Vast steering is not the cause of your problem. What problem are you talking about? Listen, Prescott, if you don't take your time, I'll drop you here right now. now. Johnston, I am not the cause of the problem you are experiencing in your household. I don't know what you're talking about. How would you know? You have succeeded in ruining the happiness in your lovely family. I warn you against taking the third wife, but you wouldn't listen. Like I said, I don't know what you're talking about. I married Melissa just the way I married Linda and the way I married Helen. If not for their selfishness, would they know that I have the capability to take care of all of them at the same time? What so? Where are you going to now? And the system needs some beer. Your system needs some beer? Yes. It's alright, no problem. Okay. My bag, or my brother, what's it? You have put it there. Check all my things, please. Go on, 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 I'm going, you know, since you people do not want me to have peace, I'm leaving. I'm leaving! Oh, no, 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 I'm leaving town, not only this uh, place. I'm, who is driving with me? Let me call them. Boy, 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 I just want to leave here. I'm going to go to the world. Eh? He's the only one I have. Hmm? Yeah. I will miss you too. Eh, man, I don't think I will miss the trouble in this house. Brother! Oh! I'm sure it's going to be a boy. And when he comes, we're going to name him Justin Jr. <laughs> what if it's a girl? Then you will name her yourself. And I wonder what name you're going to give her. But I strongly believe you to be a boy. You instinct is telling me you're okay. You instinct is telling me you're okay. <laughs> I tell you, oh, Nandra, what is it? Can you please excuse us? I want to speak with my father. Oh, Mr. Buck. Nandra, Melissa here is my wife. And that makes her your stepmother. Love and respect her. She loves you. 
If you know the amount of love she has for all of us, you'll feel safe and okay in her presence. Come on. What is it anyway? Why like is that true, Obansu? I don't even know that you, I, I get them for sense. You see you, I get them for sense. Well, well. It's good for me to come and sit here. If not, those evil, evil, evil uh, uh, fat elephant, the, the guy I call him for, 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 for wife, they will kill him for me. No! <coughs> eh? Yusuf. Mother. Yusuf, I beg me to call you more, but it's me to do it at all. But, but you water. <coughs> is it the one that is blocked? But the one that is. Hey, don't cry, man. I go bring her for me. Oh, you have the one. I go bring her for me now, now, now. Yusuf. Yusuf, who is that? Online, Ogani. One life, Ogani, Adamo. Yes, man. One life, say that I was still up for me. If I not tell him for that, what for that? I me. If I not tell him for that, Tonda, I go fire me. Tonda, I go fire Oga. Tonda, I go fire all of us. I must tell Oga so that he no go sack me. No sense. You go people. Well, he's not with you, man. So I'm not gonna allow you guys to go.
go to the market. You know main market. Main market, that one that is very, very far. Eh? Go there and buy everything in this list. Come back immediately because I need them. Start going now. Ma, I'm waiting for... Forgive me. Are you okay? My friend, start going to the market because... Please, wait, let me finish my list so she can go at once. She won't be going to the market twice. I should wait. I should wait for you to finish your list. It's not... Hey, hey, hey! Separate, separate that list. Don't even allow her own list to touch my own list. Her money should not even touch my money. Drop it! Come on, go! Come. Is something wrong with you? To know your mate in this house, I should wait for you to finish making your list. What is your problem? I don't like this thing you're doing. You come and pick this list. Man, my girl, come and pick this list. What is happening? Yeah. What is happening? Yeah. What is happening? There's this sad way that that overshadows you. But again, when I set my eyes on you, I feel strong. Thank you for being strong. I see, um, sometimes too I feel depressed. I feel sad that at this tender age I am already a widow. Uh, when I remember what he told me before he left, and when I look around and you're there, and when I remember that this baby I'm carrying in my womb is just then, I am consoled. Melissa, how are you? You're fine. Mm. Please just try and be strong, okay? She is. And is it not for you? <laughs> 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 Let me bring my cat. Money. Mom, what is it? Boris. Well, school has resumed and I have to pay the fees. Do you remember I'm your mother? Of course, Mom. Yes, I do. Well, what is it, Mom? I don't like the way you're fraternizing with that witch. I don't want to see you anywhere around her. Don't talk to her. Don't do anything for her. Just stay away from her. Is it Melissa you are calling a witch? Is she not a witch? Mom, she's my late father's wife. And her son is my brother. Mother, this is the same kind of hatred that led to father's death. 
Nothing good comes out of this kind of hate. Except death. Boris, come back here! Come back here! What is wrong with this I hope that money is not for her hospital bills. Everybody, we thank God. Oh. <laughs> You're looking very fine, though. Thank you. Oh, what you could is oh, good. <laughs> Dear man, no? hey. hey. Please, you lock the kitchen door. Yeah, good afternoon. Is the kitchen door locked? Yes, the kitchen door is locked, and this is not the first time. Please, I don't like what is going on. And nobody should make me feel inferior in my father's house. Yeah, I'm so close. Mixes, calm I think I can help you. It's okay, just calm down. You can handle what? Hey! Hey! How long will you allow my son to express himself? I'm not going to make it. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to My own son. In my presence. I'm going to make it. You slap me. I'm going to make it. You slap me. Are you mad? So, this happened uh, in your presence? Okay. I said I was discussing with Johnson's sister when they came with their trouble. And that was exactly what happened the last time I visited. Yes! You see why I said we will have to come back to this house because Johnson is no more. And she's still a young girl. She needs to move on with her life. Of course, Daddy. That family is Sodom and Gomorrah. Every evil thing happens there. Oh, oh it's, it's as bad as that. Yes, even worse. Mm. Hey. I made the wrong choice of allowed Melissa get married to Justin. But we told you that and you refused. Okay, we were all against it. But you refused to see reasons with us. Mm -hmm. Daddy. Can you now accept it that you were wrong? No, 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 no. Stop talking as if I was totally wrong. Look at the house we now live in. That, that is our car. We have bigger shop. We will no longer complain of both uh, school fees uh, uh, and material challenges. All these things we don't have come in place if, if, if uh, Melissa was not allowed to, to marry Justin. Let's not look, lose the, the, the bigger picture. Okay. You are right. But let us bring her back to this house. Yes. I agree with you. After all, Justin is no more. In fact, I will go there myself and pull her back to this house. I'm going with you, Daddy. That's what that's... Daddy, we are not happy that Justin left like that. Very painful. But it is well. I want to assure you that Melissa is fine. She will be fine. The issues on ground will be resolved soon. Resolved, did you say? Yes. Was this issue resolved when Justin was alive? Is it now that he is no more that it will be resolved? No. I am living with Melissa this moment before you people tell her about it. So. Yes, Melissa is your daughter, but she's also a married woman. She's married. Yes. What's the meaning of that? Melissa was married to Justin. Where is Justin? I, 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 I can't believe you are insinuating that I sold her into this family. Did I sell her? Hey, hey well, you did not. Uh -huh. You did not. Uh, but um, this is her mourning period. Just allow her to finish mourning her husband. Uh, will my daughter be still alive? Melissa! Melissa! Go and pack your bag. Hey, pack your bag. You are not from another tribe. 
You are not. You know the custom and tradition of our people. Let her finish morning at the husband. Daddy, please, my boy is still very small. Please. Sir, you have to understand that she is still breastfeeding. But who told you that I will leave the baby behind? I am living with the baby of us. What's the meaning of it? I said, pack your bag and let us leave at once. We are living with your baby. You are talking about talking about the sake of your baby. Well, I, did I tell you we leave her behind? My house in the village belongs to my first wife, Linda. I have two plots of land in the village. The one with the uncompleted building belongs to my second wife, Helen. The other one is for Melissa. My company with its two branch office building is to be taken over by my first son, Boris. The houses I have on rentage belongs to Boris. The plaza at the commercial area is for Melissa's child. This very house, which we all live in, belongs to Melissa. The piece of land at GRA also belongs to Melissa. Melissa, 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 that's the only name I've been hearing here. Melissa Nenu, Melissa Nana, Melissa Nenu, Melissa Nana. Are you the only wife of our husband? No, tell me. And yes, I'm I've not even heard my name. Me, uncle I said it. You are a white witch. You killed our husband. Never mind, uncle Mumma, where is the wife getting jaded? Uncle Ha! Oh, continue, yes, I'm Hmm. Please, I will advise hey. all of you to be quiet and listen. I am not going to read this again. And once I'm out of here. I will execute the dictates of this will with immediate effect. My houses in Abuja and Lagos should be sold and 80% should be given to Melissa. 20% shared among my children. Please, I would like you all to adhere to this will. No argument. This will is signed and sealed by myself, Mr. Justin Akobilo. <laughs> mm -hmm. Excuse me, Barista. My name is not my brother's name. Too. This is not the original. You should read the original. For what is life? Oh, we'll be this way now. Yeah, it's from worst to worst. Oh, why is all this now? And now I try to cope, the more I have to see I try to put it hard, the tough it got to be The tough it got to be I gotta push it hard, the more I try to cope The more I have to see, I try to push it hard I don't really like this thing you're doing I don't Where is your son? I don't want him to see me cry. <laughs> Is this what you do always? I mean, sit up all night and just cry? <laughs> What do you want me to do? No, tell me. What do you want me to do? I'm definitely lonely here. No husband. Nobody to talk to. Everybody is against me. Uh, You know that is not true. I'm here. 
And I am always scared about you. So please, wipe those tears from your eyes. <laughs> oh, Boris! <laughs> wow, you know, I never knew you were this funny. Uh, really? <laughs> wow! <laughs> so, you mean you were actually watching us from your room? Of course, I was. <laughs> well, Melissa, I must confess to you, I am excited that you are glad. <laughs> um. You know, I actually thought it was you I was going to have issues with. Really? Of course. <laughs> What's that? This is so true. Hello? Yeah, we didn't get what we wanted. But we're on our way back now. Alright. What is it? The baby. The baby is crying. So we need to go back. Mm -hmm. Alright, then um, let's change of direction. <laughs> well, it is nice spending yeah, this time. It's a lot. Quality time with you. Mm -hmm. I. So, yeah. This is my baby. Your baby can fall down and die for all I care. I don't care. Who knows if Justin is really his father? Now listen, let me warn you. Stay away from my son, Boris. I don't want to see you around him. Because I can see you're using the same charm you use on Justin to, to, to control my son. The only charm I have is a clean heart. Boris knows family, and he knows that this boy I'm carrying is his little brother. So stop using your evil spirit to make him bitter. What? Oh, really? You're speaking to me? Mom? Are you crazy? Mom! What? What is it? What is it again? Are you not just tired? Are you not tired of all this? Enough of all these false accusations. Mom. This house belongs to her. What did you just say? It's a house. So you allow this little witch to manipulate you, right? Mom, there is no one who is a witch in this house. Stop! She's not a witch. She's not using anything like charm. girl is using the same charm she used on Justin to manipulate my son. Okay. I know what to do. See, she's carrying the baby. Auntie Ju, Chama is not a babysitter. That was not why she was employed. 
But you can make fruit juice, can't you? Eh? I don't like what you're doing. No. You know you are getting old. No, it's, uh, there's no problem. I will go back to my own father's house. My father built a house in the village. Why am I even here? After all, your father did not even include me in his uh, will. Don't worry. I will go. Then you people will stay and kill yourselves. I did not say you should go. I only said that Ijoma should go and prepare fruit juice for me. Mm. And I will carry the baby up here. Dude, Ijoma is not a babysitter. She, she thought she's thinking that it's a, a joking mother. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. It's not a joking mother. You see, Marisa is always curious. When I was telling her that story, she, 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 she thought there's so, yeah. something one can laugh over. Well, you're but very funny. Not, <laughs> I hope you're not telling me how you should. Of course, you will give me food. Melissa, ask her, when last did she feed me? Like I she used to. Mommy. Oh. If I'm mommy, you don't even give me ah, food. I've seen it. And Wait, you're you eating in my presence. Yeah, it's food, yeah. Are you a visitor? Well, you don't serve me. Feed, feed me. I should serve you. Feed me like a baby, like, you know, okay. Now, you see this. See, have you seen that conspiracy? Every time, baby, baby, baby. Now, the baby is, is, is hungry. I stopped calling you baby. When, when, long time when, ago. when, when, what happened? Why you would you stop? <laughs> well, in the mood, there's no spoon of rice. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon, Mr. Bebe. Fine, sir. How are you? I'm fine. Um, Melissa, you just left. You left the house with no clue on how we can reach you. I tried calling several times. You won't pick up your calls. Your baby. All he does is just cry and cry and cry. Yes, Auntie has been trying, but there is no care compared to that of a biological mother. Melissa, Auntie even asked me to also come out and look for you. Please. We want you back home. So, mom, please, have talk to her. Now, come back home, Melissa. I wanted to have peace of mind. The trouble in that house is just too much. So, please, mom, please, help, help. Melissa, come back. Love of Melissa, you are living with me now. You are living with me. Stop this, Melissa can't leave this house now. Please. Daddy, you and I know that I can't leave this house now. Shh, What's the meaning of that? Daddy, I can't leave this house with my baby. Please. So, so you will not understand what I'm trying to say, but she can't leave. I don't want to understand anything. It is the understanding that I have in this family that kept her in this deplorable state. She will live with me before I start receiving condolence visitors. Watch it. I should understand. I should understand. No, she, she, she's, she's ignorant. She doesn't know what she's doing. But I'll open your eyes too. Are you still there? Melissa, come on, let's go. Daddy! Daddy! No! Daddy! 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 Thank <laughs> you. 
when I was a young woman. Newly married to you, Fran. I heard stories about life, especially in marriage. I wondered if they were real. But now I know better. I am seeing worse things happen to me and my family every day. Honestly, so many things have happened to us lately. When I married Neta, I never knew Neta would turn into something else. I never believed I'll become a widow by this time. Mom. Look at me. Married so young. But now a widow. I thought it would end there. Look at what Melissa had gotten herself into. How can Melissa get pregnant for Boris? If I had known, I wouldn't have allowed Melissa to return back to that house. Mommy, please. Please stop recalling all these painful experiences. You have had enough already. It is true that Melissa is now the one in charge of that house and all the valuables that John still left behind. But having Melissa and Boris as husband and wife, no, I will not allow that. Yes, Mom. It's true, Melissa definitely needs a younger man. But not Boris. Not him. What will people say? I mean, how will they look at us? I am not in support of Melissa marrying Boris. But I am confused. Yes, she's carrying his baby. She's heavy already. Pregnancy is not an option. She will give birth to that child. But I will not allow her to marry boys. Yes. I will not. Melissa is the last wife. She controls everything. If she wishes, she can throw us out of this house any day. Even our school fees, food, even pocket money, all comes from her. We are even at her mercy. I hate that dad had to put us all in this condition. And that is why I am going to do what I have to do. Yes, we have to do something. Something like what? No, tell me. What do you think you can do that I, your mother, have not done? What? Mom, you just have to stay back and watch us do what we have to do. Right. We've got this. Do what exactly? No, tell me. Listen, this is what your father foolishly willed. And Boris is continuing in that foolishness. Ah, Melissa. Listen. You people have to be very careful. We have to make her believe that we are on her side. She doesn't have to suspect anything. Please be careful. Mama, enough is enough. I must do something. Yes. Enough is enough. Do something, do something. Now, leave this do something, Bikono. Eh? What can you do? Trust me. Forget it. I have to go do this, do something. Mm. We have to do something. We do it. See, we have to stop. Do Mom, what is it? Why have you dragged me here this night? What is it? Maurice, your sister cannot continue like this. She cannot continue to stay like this. 
Uh, where do you want her to stay? She needs to travel out. But there's no money. She needs money. That is a simple thing. By virtue of father's will, Melissa is in charge of that aspect. So it's a simple thing. Just call Melissa, speak with her, and probably beg her. Mm, it's a subtle thing. What? I should beg Melissa over my dead body. Huh? Do you know, I cannot even count how many times I've heard that statement in this house lately. Every little thing over my dead body. Every little thing over my dead body. Beg Melissa to release money for Ivana to go abroad. And leave just as you want over your dead body. Allow me to be with Melissa over your dead body. If it's over with your dead body, then I don't know what else to do. She's in charge. Horace, you know this is not fair. You teamed up with Melissa. Go and get that money from her so your sister can travel. Listen, if you do not get that money from her, honestly, you will not believe what I will do to you. No. Why am I the bone of contention here? I just peeled out the simple truth. Talk to Melissa. Mom, I don't just understand what people take me for in this house. I don't understand. Do everybody in this house see me as a fool? You all think I'm stupid for trying to be with Melissa, right? You think I'm not wise? <laughs> it's simple, Mom. You want Ivan to relocate? Beg Melissa. She's the one in charge. I don't have any say. Oh, why is life oh be this way now? Yeah, it's from worst to worst. Oh, why is all this now? And now I try to cope, the more I have to see. I try to put it hard, the tough it got to be. The tough it got to be. I gotta push it hard, the more I try to cope, the more I have to see. I try to push it hard. It is unfortunate we lost Justin. But life must go on. The chief priest had already communicated me concerning the replacement of the great title of Nzejofo. We all know the importance of that title. So it is such that we cannot allow to be vacant in this kingdom. Igwe, I have not yet come out of the shock. But you know, what can we do? I wanted to raise this issue the last time we met. Yeah. Oh, what the promising young man, he would have performed me to me perfectly. Anyway, your majesty, what did they say? Did they say we should bring names? Or uh, uh, have they chosen? Yes, um, according to the words of the chief priest, but the gods said we should look into Justin's family. Boris, is that the son's name? Yes. That would have been better. But you know how long it took us in convincing Lake Johnson to accept that right? But we don't have that time any longer. We've missed a lot because there's no one to handle that. Thing. Let me talk to you. I want that. Perhaps. Oh. That has to be as fast as possible. There it is. 
that is the reason for this matter. We were in the world. So, Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings, Igwili. You are still going to let another person take up the offer title. The death of that man, isn't it enough reason for you to have everything? It's sure he didn't teach you a lesson yet. And what lesson are you talking about? What lesson are you talking about? Come on, Father. I need not to spell it out to you. Look, look. Iwilo. Look, Iwilo. If I am not your father, I would have started suspecting you. Before now. Or even now. Because you sound so convincing that you have something to do with the death of Justin. And I'm telling you this. I warn you. Stay away from that. Don't ever, don't ever say anything of such anymore. Either to me or to anyone anywhere. Don't! And finally, resist from anything that has to do with resent your full title. Did you hear me? Yes. I want to see your back. <laughs> it is obvious that Boris has taken after his father. He has really shown that he's a traditional man. <laughs> he has um, tried in those areas. Even recently, he tried to bring peace to the family. Mm -hmm. He has actually proven to be the head of the family. Mm. I think he should replace his father as a holder of the most prestigious title in our community. Uh, uh, that means he will relocate to the village. Of course. Thank the gods he has taken over Melissa, his late father's latest wife. It is traditional. It shows his maturity. Well, so in that case, um, my decision to marry Melissa is a step in the right path. Ah, of course. <laughs> All right then. That means I have to start uh, making arrangements and going to the village. <laughs> that, you are the son of your father. Thank you very much. <sighs> you know, I am seeing a baby girl. Yes, a beautiful baby girl like her mom. <laughs> you know, you just sounded like your father. No, no, I disagree with that. My dad actually loves boys. I remember when we when I was pregnant. So. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are enjoying yourselves. <laughs> of course. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, I hope you're all right now. Of course, I'm very okay now. <laughs> I don't know what I ate since yesterday. I've been punching like ah. How would you know what you ate? Roasted fish came. You took. Come here, pepper soup. She was there. Are you serious? Do you know the worst part? Ice cream. Wait, wait. You took <laughs> ice cream on it. What, what is all this for? <laughs> you guys are making jest of me, Abby. No, no, no. Melissa, my, my mind yourself. <laughs> Please, babe. I, I, I'm set to leave. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. All right, just give me a minute there. Let me drop you off. Okay. Uh. Uh. Melissa, just like I told you. Please be very careful. Be very, very careful. I am not sure of your safety here. Please. 
Definitely, I will. Yes. You know, I think after our marriage, I'll come over and stay till I have my baby. That will be very nice. And I think mommy will concur to that. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm going to miss you. I'm going to miss you too. I don't want you to go. I know you don't like me to leave. Oh, uh, so where's Junior? He's sleeping upstairs. Oh, right. okay. Oh, okay. It's okay. Um, I just um, drafted a check of 500000 just consider it as my little contribution for your traditional marriage. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. You're Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Good to have you as a sister. Yeah, <laughs> oh, it's all right. Let's hit the road. All right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> You said you meet me up at the junction. What happened? I'm sorry. I was helping Melissa at her place doing small, small things. I came back late from her side. But she also know you are preparing for your own traditional marriage. And you know as well. You should have time for yourself. Huh? I'm sorry. If, see, if you had been here earlier with me, we would have sorted this out. I know. So are you ready now with this? Very much ready. Oh, sir. Let's, <clears throat> let's. Well, wait first. I want to show you something. <clears throat> From my sister Melissa. <laughs> I hope you didn't request for this. Gee boy, how can I do such a thing? She willingly gave it to me. At least you can see that my going to her place was not in vain. <laughs> well, now, uh, can't I joke with you again? Huh? I always joke with my baby. Come on, now, come on. Put it in the bag. We met. Oh, that's a check. Is that now? Ah, <laughs> Let's go, yeah, dog. Now. Okay, now. Guy, boy, you get a severe. Mm. This life don't tire me. I swear, I'm gonna stand like this. Money is going to be. Money good, though. I swear, money good. You know that guy? You don't know who Jay? Who don't know Jay? Uchi, yes. you should be that since. So near brother now. How are you go say you don't know Uchi? So near brother. E, 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 e. And I can be this. What are you doing? Of course. That man who married at their last born. I hear say the man who mourned this cutter. And they tell you. So as the man die now, he can go marry the girl. The guy can carry back. Like, give him own uh, picking. Bros. Everything where they the family now the guests still there on top. Now in the control now. You mean now? And they tell you truth. Money good. And they tell you. Sit down there now. Guy. Maybe we try or tell that guy. Maybe we call this one. And they tell you. See, make I tell you. We we'll capture him. Get. Which he talk now true. It makes sense as guy man. But we we'll capture this guy. Understand? Give us more rotation. Okay. They get. See. See this guy, the reason they call him from my own, from my in law. Come, come, come. 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 Come, I live in this house. Okay. Well, I cannot suck up for me. Wait. I cannot suck for me. Yes, sir. Well, I cannot do. Okay. I don't have to go. Hey. That's what Melissa told you, right? Ma That's what Melissa told you. Master, I never tell me for anything. I never tell me for anything. You are the witchcraft inside, 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 inside,
Wallahi na gamik ni Yes mana ni wi Ni wa emai ni Ina are wa wi Ni wa emai ni ya lu go sa sa Ni ya lu go sa sa Wa yala wa yala Wallahi wa yala wa yala wa yala wa yala Ku go sa sa Madam, I don't know what I've done to you that you are treating me this way. Okay, you don't know what you've done to me. Eh? You! I don't blame you. You no longer keep to my instructions. Eh? You! You know what? I don't blame you. It's not your fault. It was just that caused all this nonsense. Eh? Why are you not keeping to my instructions? Are you crazy? Get into the case. Eh? Okay, is it? Please. Besides, the person that hired them is no more. Let them go. We don't need them anymore. Let them you go. Hey! Look at this rat. Have you joined them? Eh? Let them go. Let them go. Be gone. Be gone. Be gone. Let peace reign. Eh? Let peace reign. Jesus. Well, I call this meeting as a matter of urgency. So we can address the constant rise in the troubles of this house. Lately, it seems like there is no day in this house that there is no new trouble. Yeah. Fights here and fight there. I feel it's high time we make some things clear. It is obvious, very obvious that some of us have not been able to distinguish between rights and privileges. And as such, we think we can act anyhow. We can do anything we like in this house. I mean, there is so much contention. So much mixed blood. Hey, enough of that big grammar. You and Melissa should tell us how much we have in our account. How much is coming in from the company. Then we'll decide on what to do with it. Please, oh. We are not deciding on anything. We are not agreeing on anything at all, at all. See, both of you should just sell the company. Tell us how much we have in our accounts. Bring out the money here, Kai Keriega. Just share it. What are we waiting for? You know, I keep hearing our account, our company, our money. And I begin to ask myself, where did, do you get this our uh, thing from? I mean, we all were seated here when Father's will was read. And every one of us got a portion from that will. And if you've mismanaged yours, you have no right to fix your eye on another's. See, by virtue of that will, some of you are not supposed to still be in this house. You are not known. Wait a minute. What did you just say? I've said what I said. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the one. Until you. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Have you seen it? You are the cause of this problem. You are the cause of what is going on in this house. Are you happy now? Are you? If I knew, I would have just been sleeping in my room instead of attending this meeting. Be bulum pali. Eh? For your information, oh, even before my brother died, I had already planned on leaving. I want to go back to the village and stay there. Eh? I want to go back. If I knew this was why people called, I wouldn't have come for the meeting. 
Mana, uh, It is better I take you to the village. Why are you Eh? Will you follow me? Let's go. No comment. Mm, Marisa, before you decide to leave this house, you will settle your space. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because I still have my project and my final year exam to settle. Not this one so fast. Settled you from where? I don't just understand. What is all this? Please, sh shut up. You will settle me now. But because... I'm just jealous. Come here, please. I'm so hot. Darling, what is it? What is it? You push that off. After all, my baby and I are okay now. Just calm down, okay? That's a Jew. You're saying I should calm down when I've not seen Boris since yesterday. And his phone is switched off. Something is wrong. Why do you think something is wrong? Because... Is it, is it that Boris is not interested in marrying me again? Boris just disappeared and... Do you see and she didn't say anything? Calm down. How? Calm down. Is that okay? Why are you people not saying anything? You guys are just looking at me like this. Is there anything wrong with what I just said? We have seen the baby. Eh? So you mean the two of you entered my room? Yes. And that is why we are here to see you. Well, um, I think every one of us has learned one or two lessons. We need prayers in this family. Because I feel the devil has found its way into this one. This is no time for quarrels, no time for arguments, no time for disagreements. We should invite a priest for very special prayers. Bikun. We need prayers. We forgot about God that we're enjoying life. Okay, I know we need prayers, but where is this conversation heading? 
Melissa. Boris is dead. <laughs> ah! Melissa! 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 Bessie! Bessie! But the doctor said you can eat something now. Oh, they are fine. They are fine. Sir. He's fine. That is why he's not in the hospital. The thing is that we need to actually decide on what to do. Fair. Greetings, Your Majesty. Oh no, I greet you. <sighs> Greetings. Hey. Yes. Please forgive me for coming late. Oh, no, that's all right. No, 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 no. You are not late. I actually wanted to have uh, one or two things discussed, which they will know before the actual meeting. So you are not late. Oh. So in that case, let me leave you. No. You are welcome, like I said. Uh, you see, the subject matter concerns all of us. Yeah, your being here is part of it. I just, you're, you're welcome, there's no problem. Yes. Actually, we were thinking of how to relay a message to Justin's family. Oh, yes, concerning the new About his other son taking up uh, the title. Actually, we are waiting for late Chief Johnson's sister, Ujumwa, to come. I am the heir apparent to this throne. I deserve to be in this meeting. Ugrino, I did not invite you to this meeting. I didn't invite you to this meeting. Now leave. Um... Uh, Your Majesty, please, please, if I may suggest, allow him. He is your son and the heir apparent to the throne of Iloma Kingdom. Hmm? Now, what affects the nose affects the eyes. Exactly. Thank you very much, Ono. You see this issue of Nzejofo title? This is something I am very much concerned about. In fact, I am so much interested in it. This is something I have been discussing with my father, the king. But he seems not to be seeing it from my own point of view. Two men are dead already. Yet, the signs have not been clear to all of you. How can the gods of our land keep appointing one particular family? Has it ever been done in this kingdom? Don't you think the chief priest or whoever 
is interested in this title. Ah, my prince. That is an abomination. <laughs> Are you out of your senses? Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Is he out of his senses? Then, let's see how the next person will survive it. The will! Live now! Are you still here? You are still here! Live! Live! It's not. For I cost you, I cost the day you were born. Just go below. Oh, elders, there is this adage that goes like this. Now I am going to call a no nafo, makago. We cannot cough out mucus and swallow it back because of hunger. Uh, uh. See, well, it is true she is our mother, but she is not in the position to decide for us or to dictate for us. Neither is she in a position to dictate for the gods what we should do. She asked me to come and collect everything that is related somehow to that title or tell her when and how to return them. Um, to be sincere, no one in your shoes will want to continue that kind of thing. I mean, not after what happened to the family. Exactly. Accusing fingers will be pointing at the title if it is not a practice that has been in existence for ages. Of course, it cannot be. It cannot be the title. It can't be the title. However, I am feeling guilty because I encouraged him and his son. On the other hand, it has never been in the history of Funze Jofo title that the person in possession of that title died young. Igwe, you should look elsewhere according to her. Are you saying you don't like it? Oh, of course, no, I like it. Okay. Where is the baby? Uh, it's this time with Junior. Uh -huh. So Junior can now take care of his younger brother? Of course. Mommy, he has to. Honestly, Melissa, that baby can give trouble. <laughs> yes. You must give him what he wants, Mom. Or? He will not leave you rest. In fact, he is giving trouble like this. But mm -mm. you see, Melissa. You know Melissa can give trouble. She gave enough trouble when she was like that baby. Melissa, my daughter. So tell me, what is your plan now? About what? About Justin's household. Everything happening there is not what we expected. Every day there is one evil thing or the other happening in that house. Don't you think you should forget your past and remain here with us? Yes. Oh, Mom, I... I actually came to tell you that I'll be going back today. I'll be going back today. Melissa, can you listen to yourself? Mom. Melissa, you married Justin and he died. You were with his son and he died again. Mm -hmm. Who do you want from that family? I don't know. Is it not time you turn back and retrace your steps? Mom, I have chosen my path. There is nothing left that I have not seen. And turning back now is total foolishness. Mom, I know it's, it was actually wrong of me to have gone there at first place, but there is nothing I can do now. It's too late. I just have to go back. I don't think you have seen it go. We need to turn back now. Please. Mom, there is no turning back. I'm fine. Melissa, that's how you listen to someone. Yeah, Melissa! Accept it. It's my destiny. I'm telling 
you don't have to cry over this. Just stand by. I have to talk to her myself. Okay? Let's do this. actually in tandem with the decision of the gods. And thanks, the gods have accepted. Oh. There's no need for one to look for something when actually there is nothing there. In that case, uh, what are we here to deliver? Oh. The process you were, how to go about the coronation. Oh. oh. All right. Uh, has a date been fixed for that? Nobody's talking. Uh, any suggestion? Uh -huh. Something is not right somewhere. How can the God still choose Justin's son? The boy in question is barely five years. How is he going to cope with activities of that position? I mean, what really do the gods want? I am scared. I am so, so scared. I have never been scared this way this recent time. Alright, I know what to do. I am going to fix a date by myself and I will conduct the ride myself. Let us see how this is going to end. Let us see how this is going to end. Let us see how this is going to end. Junior, I come for my boy. Junior is missing. Junior missing? How? Oh. Junior, please help me tell them. If you know where my boy is, they should bring it for me. Please. Tell who? Helena Linda. Okay, let me tell you the truth. It was actually Justin that appeared to me in my dream. He said he, he wanted Junior to take the title. Oh my god. Hey, God. Please come to my help. Uh, 
he, I got words from late chief uh, Justin's family that the son born to him by Melissa, who was presented for the title, is missing. Listen! Ah, you went. Oh! God, listen. Something must be wrong. Um, I suggest we suspend the coronation. If possible, look for someone else. Perhaps I still feel the family do not want any of the family members to take over that title anymore. Mbamu. Mm -hmm. Welcome. In that case, do you have any options? Do we? Well, uh. Igwe, my daughter said. Good, the girls are wise. Igwe, we well with you. The girls are wise. Oh my God, it's so wise. Hi, you're welcome. May the gods be praised. Uh, I, I hope you're all right. Yes, Igwe, I am. You see, the chief priest left here a few minutes ago. He has been with us. All waiting for you. Now that he's gone, maybe we'll send a message across to him again that you are here. We can't hold today any longer. It's already late. Yes, I know. I know. Um, we're looking at tomorrow. It is already late now, but we're looking at tomorrow. Mm. I expect I must have achieved more than 70% of my aim. What is wrong? Hmm? Oh, these people don't know me. I know I am not done. I am not true with them. They don't know me. These people don't know me. By the time I am through with them, they will get to know who really I am. That I am the Anupolonkone Juano, the dried meat that fills the mouth. The dried meat that fills the mouth. By the time I am done, by the time I am done with them, they will get to know. Ah! 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 No, uh, it's all right. Everything is all right. Perfectly all right. Okay. Yes. Uh, um, things are all right. It's all right. It's okay. Right. Oh. Oh. Justin, Justin, what do you want here? Why are you here, Justin? What do you want here, Justin? Ha 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 ha! 
What's happening? I, I, I'm sorry, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, I'm, uh, I'm late for the meeting. I had some other issues at home. That's what made me to come late. Sorry, sir. <laughs> yes, that was my. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> yes. <laughs> you, you, you are going to funny now. <laughs> this is this is this is unbelievable. Ah, uh, will talk to me. Here. <laughs> Igwe, talk to me. What's, what's up? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I, I am the cause of the whole problem. I never wanted Justine to have that title. <laughs> what did you do to her? <laughs> the moment. The chief priest pronounced that the gods had chosen him. I became unhappy. I became restless. I became unsettled. I I started causing problems in his life, in his family. <laughs> Every little thing I turned to big problems. You did all that. Things that were not supposed to be issues became big, big issues. <laughs> I gave him a fake staff. And that staff killed Justin. Killed his son. Killed him. <laughs> And his son, Boris. You did that! I cannot believe this is coming from you. <laughs> I did it because I wanted the title for my son. Hey! <laughs> did you hear your father? <laughs> did you hear the Igwe talking? Prince, did you hear what the Igwe is saying? <laughs> I, I do not expect this to be at all. Father, Father, Your Majesty, Father, Father, Melissa, Melissa. Yes, please forgive us. I were not fair to you at all. Please go. Huh? It was the devil that pushed us. Please. Be be go. 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 My I daughter. want that she be apologizing. Mm -hmm. So it's oh. Oh. 
I'm so happy. And I'm so grateful to God for a day like this. I'm sure wherever your husband is, he will be so proud of the three of you. Ah. Well, <laughs> I've always known that something was wrong. I know that people once in a while make mistakes, but in short, I thank God. Thank you, my wife. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Are you. Are you. Thank you. Thank you. Is this the record of our sins? If you, O oh Lord, should record our guilt, then we will survive. Nobody won. Um, this is the complete record of the assets our late husband left. Um, its account and its full details. Um, let us now share it among ourselves. And um, Auntie should also get her own. Yeah, uh, um, <laughs> thank you, thank you. No. I I suggest we open a business for Ijoma and leave her to complete her life. Mm -hmm. Right? Hey, even Yusuf, he should get something too. I, I was talking to him the other day and he said he wants to do Burudi change. <laughs> what? Eh? Guru the change. Guru the game. Change. Ha! Auntie, that business requires a whole lot of skill. Yeah. Yes, so. I, I suggest we give him money to just start up something. Ah! Yeah. If we we'll give you some money, don't forget. You know, he, he likes Indomie and Always do. Tell everyone where Indomie Who's your name? Okay, okay. Oh, 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 Happiness is gone, oh, oh, my joy is gone, oh, no, my joy has left me. My happiness is gone, oh, what have I done wrong? What is going on? Happiness is gone, 
So uh-huh.